The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Let's tidy up this tangle of film by putting it on a reel. Here is a motion picture film. A thousand feet. Sixteen thousand separate photographs. Welcome everyone. started as C4, and then when it left the convention center and moved here to a smaller venue, it became the Kaboto Center Comic Con, also C4. Also C4. And then this year we readopted the Central Canada Comic Con banner at the Kaboto Center, so yeah. C6. It's like C4 sub 2. <laughs> yeah. Subject 4. C6 it is. <laughs> so the whole theme of today's show is, is simply collectibles and comics and the fact that C4 is a community-based show. So I figured the easiest way to start it would be like, when do you remember starting collecting comics? Was it on the toilet with Archie? <laughs> Was it... Reader's Digest. Reader's um, Digest. Yeah, where did you get Reader's your comics? Digest, yeah. I used to collect the TV guides, actually. No, um... <laughs> That's a great, actually. So, uh, my favorite comic book story when I was growing up was called Cover to Cover, oh, and uh, South Winnipeg represents. Yeah, that's right. For it had a really awesome location in Fort Richmond, right next to the Smitties. Yeah, was actually, absolutely. Where we would go for breakfast all the yeah, time. Yeah, that was the one I went to, and then I think they closed down. They moved to uh, Pemina, uh, further down. But anyways, um, so funny enough, what got me into comics was my brother. I have an older brother, and I was very much the stereotype younger brother like i wanted to do everything he did i was into everything so you my brother I get it. <laughs> yeah yeah my uh my brother gave me his um i think it's issue 10 of the uncanny x-men and it's the first issue where they actually are all together as the team um so that was Very like one uncanny. of the first <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah that was the first big comic <laughs> i got and then uh it was spider-man and spawn were actually the two big uh series that I was collecting comics very actively with and then I kind of didn't pay attention to the numbers of like you know the o actual order it was more like this looks sick yeah it was the <laughs> yeah. one time where I think it was okay to judge a book by its cover and it was that's like what, oh Wolverine's that's why books on this have one. covers <laughs> yeah. obviously if you're not books. thinking about the cover yeah, ahead of time, you're not doing it right <laughs> right yeah. Right, and comic books do sell on that cover. Like that's, that's a big part of it, right? Otherwise, so, they wouldn't have covers. Yeah, so I have like random books would here. Be great. Let's let's random find a here, really but... great artist and then not look at the cover. Like that makes no fucking <laughs> right, right, no sense. right, right. He just and when you're that guy, I can't not, not do swear. I, when you're you were worried about us, I think. I know I was. <laughs> he was like, if we can't was, handle this, you guys will turn off the microphone. I was projecting. My microphone's still not on. The real problem is the mic we met along the way. It's the mic in charge. Well, <laughs> you want to you want to drop this mic? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Just drop. drop, drop the mic. <laughs> I promise uh, everybody in the room, I will. Stop I think Mark would agree too. Though when you're at a young age too, it's you're yeah. not you're reading it, but you're not like it's really it's pictures. It's the photos, like yeah. it's the artwork, right? It so is, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no. And I had a little bit of everywhere, and then uh, like five years ago, a buddy of mine, his brother was moving to England, and he had a huge comic book collection, massive, in a crate, and he was but like, you can't bring that with you. Right, and he's like, I don't know anyone that wants this. Do you want it for twenty bucks? I didn't even look at it. I was like, that's yeah. the biggest crate of comics I've seen. Sure, twenty and bucks. That has 20 to be bucks. a deal. Wow. And there is <laughs> like so a, many like gold a navy in there. crate full. Yeah, like a milk yeah. crate full. Like, a, like I'd say, like a, it was a like rum a, barrel. Not a because not like a, a single barrel. Like a double Volkswagen jet. <laughs> I'd say it's like, like it's like this. Let's say like this. that's a big trunk. Yeah, it's like, and he has all the old man Logan series in there. You I think he, I, I think he made a good buy. No, it's, it's scary how many amazing, and I now get why he was selling it to me, and he was, like, having a hard time really letting go of the crate. Like, physically? Yeah. Yeah. I like get it now. Scene where, like, For $20? Someone's trying to pull <laughs> yeah. something it's away like from somebody. like, money, man. Let they, go. Yeah, no, and, like, uh, it made me fall in love with Congress again. Like, I don't have a lot of room in my apartment, and I have a giant crate that I still need to go through, so I'm not actively collecting comic books, but... I tell Jimmy, but you do have a large collection. I have a huge collection, <laughs> of no, and I, no, I follow all the storylines. It's still. not a collection. <laughs> yeah, it's a crate. It's got a stash. Is it crate? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crate. Yeah. It's a crate. Is, but is it crate? Are though? they really comics? If you're it's calling a great it a crate, it's so great. It's a great crate. <laughs> it's a great crate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great crate. Uh, yeah. There's like about 200 comics in there. I'd say. Yeah, Emily, when did did you ever collect comics? You know, I did the typical like preteen girl thing, and I t I collected Archie's. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I so I did um, the preteen girl thing too. Then. And then you collected <laughs> Archie's. Yeah. So we I I had, we always had we were a family that always had reading material in the bathroom. That yeah. was like always a thing. And yeah. sometimes it was you specific. poop and you read Jughead. Yes, exactly. And so I. I started collecting Archie's um, 
<laughs> and I was, go- I was, look- I- then I started collecting the double dye, just like the Bettys and Veronicas. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, really, really enjoyed that. Um, and then actually, now that my kids are a little bit older and they're getting into reading, I've actually found graphic novels to be a really great like bridge into reading a little bit more. And yeah. so. Um, some of their favorite novels have been adapted into graphic novels. Um, we've got, uh, I guess, Brit Babysitter's Club has a graphic yeah. novel series yeah, we, now. Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, there's uh, Wings of Fire, which is my older daughter's favorite series. They have all of their novels and then all the graphic novels as well. Isn't it funny how, like, when we were kids and people would tell us, like, don't read comic don't books. Read comic they brought your brain. Yeah. And now you're doing comics yeah. with your kids. And it's great. Like, I, Neil Gaiman has this great thing that he Who's says. Neil Gaiman? I know. This great thing that he says, which is, like, whatever, like good reading is whatever you, the kid wants to read, right? It's, like, yeah. it's something like That's that. Right. It's, like, yeah. what's good for reading is whatever your child so wants to read. So if your child read. wants to read the back of a cleaning product That's let them read great it's reading. the idea that yeah. you should be just pumped that your kid is wanting to read yeah, and so like, embrace whatever, what they're wanting to read. They yeah. want to read and so yeah. and so neil gaiman actually does um does collaborations on like kid uh, stuff on uh, kid stuff for sure like on uh and Definitely the milk. Sandman, I think Sandman's is whatever. Kid stuff. <laughs> Caroline, but uh, fortunately the milk. That's one okay. if you haven't read. That's oh, a yeah. great game, and that's title, really good. Yeah. Um, but he also collaborates on, on. Uh, yeah, he also collaborates on. Um, uh, graphic novels as well. So, but I wasn't really a, a no- graphic novel collector. I was a spoon collector. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I collected those <laughs> those little hangy spoons. <laughs> All shapes and sizes. So that was salad a big, That was no, just the just the hangy like. Uh, decorative ones that uh, you know, like your grandma probably had, like in her basement on like she the spoon absolutely racks. Did. Yeah, I collect those. <laughs> I still do. I travel so much. And uh, do your spoons have like? Sorry, I, I was playing with the sounder. Sorry. Do your spoons have the the provinces on them? Yeah, I have a spoon. Well, I have one for every province. <laughs> yes, my yes, grandmother had that. I do. You have my grandmother's spoons. No, I that's collecting. Uh, actually, I don't think I miss. I'm missing a couple because the provinces I haven't traveled to. I haven't been to Newfoundland and Labrador, and I haven't been to uh, Nova Scotia. So I'm actually going to Nova Scotia for a wedding this fall. I'm so you get hit a up spoon. the spoon. Yeah. I'll get a spoon. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> but I get I get spoons wherever I go, and I travel the world right now. You I travel a lot. You need to tag so. the show whenever you travel now, and like tag your photos. You and we my can, spoon. What, no, but bring a real debater's pin and leave it somewhere oh, everywhere you go. Yes. <laughs> Let's buy you a Carmen San Diego outfit. <gasps> <gasps> Carmen like, Spoon Diego. Where in the world is <laughs> Carmen Spoon Diego? <laughs> I love it. So you put the brim, you put the big hat on, yeah. and a spoon for the place you're at. <laughs> okay. And oh, you'll then, kill that. Yeah, I love it. That sounds great. in the world is Carmen And we'll just I'll take a picture with something like vaguely recognizable and also my spoon yes yeah. I and that's this. why we're broadcasting today live from spoon con <laughs> spoon con <laughs> yeah. happy to be here there's a few happy people who were confused about what it was about <laughs> yeah. but you know mostly we're on, on the same page. i'm here to spoon <laughs> yeah to all you people walking by that can hear us welcome to c4 at c6 or c10 depending on a lot of c's imagine. oh here's something really nerdy that i haven't told you guys i don't think well i used to i went through a huge phase and i actually got some really good ones i still have them i collected stamps <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah, That's my mom. Amazing. Used to my mom worked at a post office for a bit, so she used to get like you know like those specialty stamps and all that stuff. And she got me a stamp book, and yeah, I like have them in the sleeve still. Did in you, that, did you ever lick them? Uh, what's up? <laughs> did you ever lick them? You ever lick no. those stamps? You ever lick your collection? <laughs> no, I wasn't allowed to. They, that was like, was you weren't allowed, allowed to. Lick I wasn't allowed to lick them. Was Number you, when you take an oath when you join, when you get blue. a stamp collecting book, and you're like, I solemnly swear See, not, not to, to lick, lick these. And like, it was literally like, you can't put these as, don't, you don't, I don't want them being placed everywhere around and the house. Nowhere and, near any sort of H2O like oh, product. Okay, yeah, so they were, uh, in, they the, were cool. in the stamp vein, I, I had an accidental foray into coin collecting, but this Did is like, there's yeah. coins inside. We but this, so this is a crazy by. story though. Like you'll never, if you don't know this one, oh, yeah, it's wild. You have amazing we were story. demoing That's our right. basement and Dan finds these little hidey holes in the basement and he starts pulling boxes out of these little hidey holes and he's bringing them upstairs one by one. And I'm like, oh my God, are we finding like a dismembered body in the basement? Like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> or gold. And so, so he's bringing them up. And so eventually he ends up with, I think there's like eight of them yeah. and they're all the same size. So we're like, well, let's open one. So we open one and it is uh, like a 1978 or whatever, the Canadian Olympics. In Montreal. Sterling silver Montreal co- go- coin set. And there's set. eight of them. There's yeah. eight of them. Like, hidden in our basement yeah so so we find this and whatever then we we go online to a um to a coin collector thing yeah. on on facebook and take a picture i'm like does anyone know what this is oh we can't get it open because there's no key that's right so i'm like does anybody know what this is she posted it i'm like i <laughs> think there's a gun in people there. guessing so i'm like can't get it open so they're in these locked boxes so then someone's like oh we know what this is and they start going and then someone is like i'm from winnipeg and i have a key to this i'll come to How? your house okay coin collectors are like 
the weirdest, nicest also, people. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Our coin so collectors, they believe in the coins. So, yeah. They believe in the coins. So this guy drives to my house. <laughs> this total stranger, never met me in his life, drives to my house with a key so he can open it. <laughs> so we go through it. So we open it. Eight fully dot, like full Box pack, of like, coins. Yes, no, and it had the display extra, everything, this right? Display yeah. and everything. Yeah. So. We're like so we're like well what do we do with them and then people are like asking me can I buy them can I buy them on this coin collecting Facebook group and I'm like I don't even say yes I'm like oh I'm sure that'd be okay like probably and they're like okay I already trans- e-transferred you $2,000 like it's just if you ever want to scam somebody that's the, that's yeah, the group to do it they were like e-transferring me Before like even thousands seeing of them. dollars like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, would you do mind you want- sending me some of these photos I can absolutely I can dude it was yeah, like, she posted the whole like I remember you posted starting with the hole yeah, starting and with the hole. Yeah. Things coming out of the hole. Like she did, it was yeah, amazing. it was. I think it's. Yeah, I was it's invested. It was crazy. <laughs> anyway, so we ended up. We kept one for ourselves, obviously, well, yeah. and we sold the rest, and we we made like ten thousand dollars. Fuck yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Heck Party yeah, on! Party on! That's so. number three, and that's fine because nobody's paying. Are we being fined <laughs> until we bring over a child and do it in right. front of them? I think we're okay. You've already done that, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yeah, we did that. That's unreal. So, yeah, so that was so that right? was my accidental foray into coin collecting. So now I have a full set. And a couple extra ones that like stashed away that were extras out of the regular sets. Yeah, like, I guess you... he he bought some additionals, and so those are stashed away just to in case I like money. go super broke or something. So yeah. was it hidden in the wall in a way where the only way to get to it was breaking? Oh yeah, like really? It was wow. stashed. So that's why it someone's gonna be coming back stashed. for those someday. <laughs> no, was, I looked up the name. I couldn't figure. Out, like, yeah, the people who owned the house before us, I reached out to them. They had not like no idea, no idea. anything about that's it. That's really cool. That's yeah, so it was, wild. It was like the wall was built, and then it was, it was he had yeah. built. He had intentionally framed additional hi- hidey holes. That's really what it is. He Did you search any other walls? Holes. Well, that's I'm like, Dan, do you just start, do we d- just take, take the whole house down now? That was, I remember one of your last posts was people commenting, what else? And then you're like, no. no like, we're not no. smashing down anymore. Yeah, everyone was basically like, just what guessing. other walls are you going to break? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I, uh, super cool. I remember, yeah, that was, oh yeah, that was yeah. really deep. I, and I remember Claudia like was at work and Claudia would be like, did, do they know yet what's in there? Because there was like a day, a full like yeah. couple days where you guys it was like couldn't because the guy came over the next day. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and then we got it was we got awesome. a, we had a whole article written about us in like Coin Collectors <laughs> Monthly yeah, yeah. or whatever. So are you telling me that this guy had been holding on to this key, being like, I don't know when, no, I but I'm gonna hold on to this to need. use I think, it. Yeah. I think he he bought a set. Like he he right. had a set, and so we had the key that went right, with still it. Still had it. Yes. Okay. So That's he so cool. and, and coin collectors apparently are just that excited about yeah. everything because he was like at my doorstep like boom he's like hello let's open this box <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah he was I brought my key he, like yeah. for all you know you guys could have been lying and been like murderers too yes, but he's we like no, been no, murderers. No, no, cool. he could have been a murderer <laughs> we all decided we were cool with it because we just wanted to know what we was in the box, in the box. You, so bad you found the Marcus Brody <laughs> of coin collecting you found like <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. an Indiana Jones level. That's sweet. It was like, so, that's so cool though. It was like, so hell? crazy. I love. I, it makes me happy that in this world too, there's still those moments of just like believing in yeah. the coin, believing <laughs> in believing that, in and the like coin. it's coming. We're gonna back. all trust each other. We're all gonna. It's and hopefully almost, know it's, that this is okay and it is it was. no one who obsesses over something could be crazy <laughs> right. no absolutely no. why not. would this guy why would a the key, stranger like, right? send us <laughs> other stranger two thousand dollars <laughs> i found this key 30 years ago and i was like i gotta I hold on to this well he's got a big ring of them <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he had to yeah. go through one at a time. <laughs> he actually got know. into her house because he's just used a key. He's like, oh, maybe another key. No, he work. offered me some some uh, uh, some <laughs> advice about my hardwood floors on his way out as well. It was lovely. You literally awesome. met the key maker from the yeah, Matrix. From the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> like the guy with the ring of keys. It's great. Now, um, Michael, so you're an only child. Yeah. Tell us about the toys that you grew up with. <laughs> oh, oh. That you didn't have to share with anyone. No, never. Yeah. Not one time. What was time. that like when uh, you just got bored and got a new one? Why do I feel that the three of you <laughs> figured this question out before we started recording publicly? What did I have? Oh my god. Well, okay. yeah. You I look was... like you had full sets of things. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I had free reign. What's I, that Michael's like? like, I collected high-end video games consoles <laughs> at once. I never played them. Yeah, I got everything on launch yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, Mother yeah, likes yeah. to keep things clean. Cartman. <laughs> um, I, all my all my video game systems are gold plated. Uh, no, I uh, what did I do? I I had Archie's. I wasn't big in the. You know what I collected? I collected Marvel cards. Do you remember Marvel? Yeah, cards? I remember I did, Marvel yeah. cards. That had Marvel the stats cards on the back. So like, yeah. 
I loved those cards so much. Uh, I had them memorized. I'd trade them like like a ri- like like Pokemon cards, like Magic cards, like it was in the same realm. You didn't play a game with them. Well, but usually it, was it just, takes another kid to trade with. It does, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, when you have a full set, everyone wants to hang out with you. It's yeah, right. Like you're I'm, the kid that everyone yeah, hated. Yeah, I'm the kid that's like, well, Mike's got the cards. So yeah. like, so yeah. I, I had Marvel cards, not Marvel comics. I had Archie comics, not DC or any of the original ones. I didn't get the, into that those. Are the alternates? Were you it's Archie in DC? Yeah, Archie. Were DC. you an Archie or a Jughead? Who were you? He was a moose. I, I <laughs> was a moose. big moose guy. Uh, I feel more Stay of Stay out of Riverdale. I feel, I feel I wanted. I was like, I want to be Reggie, but now I know I'm joking. I was. Yeah. I was yeah. very much Josie and the Pussycats. Sure. Like, oh, oh yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. You know, yes. you had to like. Yeah. yeah they're just yeah. the uh, cool girls. So yeah. Cards, comics, the rebel. toys. The cool rebel. Exactly. I mean. What is now art in the in the studio, which is a bunch of old figurines, was originally at one point like first edition TMNT, first edition GI Joe, first nice. edition. Yeah, that's uh, right. Bike, I had because your m- studio is full of collectibles. Our yeah. viewers yeah. will recall. Yeah, I don't take any <laughs> pictures of it because it's all mine. But uh, <laughs> I don't even want to share it ima- in, in, in image form. No, uh, but yeah, I do. I do like trinkets. I do like knickknacks. I do like all those things. I like things more than I like. A book People. or something like yes, definitely. <laughs> actually, I do. I'm in the same yeah. boat. Yeah, <laughs> I can't you read. You mean less to me than that microphone you're holding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I probably I probably cost less to be honest. <laughs> you, can but, buy uh, my, you can buy me with a cup of coffee. It's I had. I'm, I, I belong to Jimmy now. I, <laughs> I had the GI Joe three stage. Oh, I know you did. I had that. I had the <laughs> Ghostbusters house. I had. Castle Grayskull. I had Thundora. That's so I, cool. Had, like, he had his own I little multiverse know, happening. I didn't even know that there were actual kids that you had those did, things. You know I think those were have? things that just toy stores that made you feel bad. I know I <laughs> said I I, I, I I might be like I'm gloating, but you know what I didn't have? I didn't have a lot of friends. So, like... <laughs> I but mean, you did, man. They were all like, those toys. Yeah, no, they were. But like, I put them away Just at night, praying they'd come alive. Yeah, this was long before Toy Story. These were, you used to play with your back to them and yeah. hope that they would like. Yeah. I'd look over my shoulder. <laughs> like, hey, holding a mirror, like, trying to catch them. Why I know is today the day you come alive. <laughs> no, so yeah, I, I I collected things inadvertently, and then they were worth something one day. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, through it, uh, they'd already horrible. been well played yeah. with. I had hockey cards too. I I mean, my dad, like I've told you, Jimmy, my dad was a, a game day sponsor for the Jets 1.0. So, like, lots of free jet swag and hockey swag. What did your would, dad do? Just a sponsor. He'd pay to have an advertisement. So they got a box. He was he owned food fairs, is what I should say. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> He's just I'm like, just like, just like Mike's dad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Enjoy the would, game. There'd be, but like, no, <laughs> oh, you're Mike's dad? Here's oh. the thing. So, like, the shit I would collect. So, like, at one point, there'd be promotional shit. So, like, there was a run of craft, cra- craft dinner boxes. Swear number five. Uh, on the back of the craft dinner box. And it was a hockey player and their stats and everything. As a card, as the back of a craft dinner box worth nothing. As a set in a gold binder with a certified label from craft. That says, I have not licked these. Yeah, no one's licked these. <laughs> <laughs> just the cheese. Yeah, just the cheese. <laughs> just the cheese. The insides have been used. The outsides are, are in mint condition. But as a set, it's worth like three, four hundred bucks, right? Wait, so you're telling me That's this nuts. is legit? So as long as you had that, KD yeah. was like, this is, he has all of them. Worthless yeah, on like, their own. Wow. Worthless on their own, but as a set, That's collectors hilarious. would take them. So That's I, nuts. my That's dad, so funny. my dad bought, oh, this is so, okay, I, like, I realize that this is very <laughs> fucking privileged. So hey, 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 six. Like, <laughs> It's six. Privilege is six, too. Yeah. I like the swear <laughs> counter. Keep it up. So uh, I understand this is very uh, privileged in that, but my dad bought me, like, hockey paraphernalia as a kid because he would go to, like, the Keith Kachuk banquet. Oh, like the actual, like, collection, like those, like... Those, yeah, like, like he would have a, 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 a charity golf tournament, and then Steve Yeiserman and Eric Lindros' Stanley Cup sticks just appeared in my room one day. Oh, I hate you. Autographed. <laughs> I hate you so much. Excuse me? Yeah, this is, I know, this, I'm not like. My kids are like, I need new pants. And I'm like, Value Village, let's yeah. go. I'm well yeah. aware. Well, your sister's still wearing them, so you yeah, need to wait. Exactly. <laughs> I'm also well aware in that, that that is what a parent does to buy their child's love. So like, Did it I, work? It, for the time. That would have worked. <laughs> That would have worked on me like, 100%. Me yeah. See, when you're growing so up. Is your dad like, still moments? looking for love? Because, like, that sounds great to me. <laughs> I think he's looking, he looking on how me? to get out of a wheelchair right now. I'm not. <laughs> love is blind, is. Emily, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I, I've had, seen that. Yeah. I had a cornucopia of things that wow. were bought for me that ended up being of value. 
That's really cool. No oh, way. Bought the dude, 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 come here. Come That's here. Come amazing. Here. Come here. Come here. We've got to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, we need absolutely. To talk to you. Okay, we're so first of all, we're the real debaters. Hello. Thank Hello, you for stopping. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, my name is Sean Riley. Sean, wow. What is, Sean, what is this that you bought here today? I have bought the Galactus statue with the uh, three of his, <laughs> his 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 people, of course. We've got Morg, Nova, and uh, oh, man. the Silver Surfer. It's just beautiful. Dude, we were all yeah, going to chip in to buy this. We know how much. This is a $700 <laughs> buy. Did you? Or did you? I got it for $650. you are good. Wow. Man. We you were, were probably going to pay $800. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Galaxy wanted 1000 Put that towards your face oh, so we can hear you. Yeah. Wow. Galaxy wanted 1000 he offered me seven. These guys talked him down another fifty. So yeah, I, you did. I yeah, could you did. not walk away without this. That's a that's the steal of the deal. We were all gonna throw money in and share it. <laughs> yeah, we were like days. we were figuring out a schedule we were, and yeah. like yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A tough shit. yeah, right. That's every, yeah. everybody gets a figure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On time. yeah. 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 Will you let we us come visit? Together. Yeah, can yeah. You come over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Um, they told me when I got here that like there's a there's a statue of basically the same height as you. Yeah. There. Well, like how much money do you have on you right now? So I've got a dozen or so. So this guy. That's going to be a nice addition. The king, the Love it. Centerpiece <laughs> Love of it. Everything. Yeah, I may Good have to uh, move some of my furniture out. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. <laughs> totally <laughs> worth it. Who needs furniture? When yeah. You got right? That's right. That's right. You can get furniture anywhere. You can't do get Galactus you anywhere. Right. Phone on you right now? I do. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you. What a um, wonderful purchase. I can't believe it happened so fast. Yeah, you know. We we should have we should have made amazing. our intentions known if you earlier. Can scan, yep. Just <laughs> I was debating not paying rent. Like that was <laughs> that's where I was at. And then go to that link. Just tap it right. Just there. live in the box yeah, with Galactus. Can I have the box? <laughs> so that's <laughs> Can I just pretend that I own yeah, it? Yeah, can I just tell just like people for that, a weekend? Yeah, I'll tell people it's in <laughs> yeah. there. They'll never know. I will share this yeah. out. Yeah. And congratulations, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, congratulations. Like, yeah. What a great purchase. Yeah. Yeah. Please enjoy it for all of us. <laughs> thank you for thank you for stopping. <laughs> Please man. do. Awesome. Yeah, take enjoy. care you guys. Thank you enjoy. again. Bye Sean. Wow. wow, Jimmy, good catch. As as yes. if. He's just like, hey. I'm like, what? And he, I'm like, oh, God, the guy bought it. This is amazing. How, as if, hey, wow. So soon. We were talking about that all day. I was and moving money around, man. I was, looking, <laughs> I was looking at accounts. Yeah, I was looking at my I just took out another credit yeah. card. Like, yeah. yeah. So, you guys, um, I literally just got a bonus on Friday. Like, that could have been. <laughs> I just got my Galactus money. I know. My <laughs> what could have been? So, wow, uh, what a treat. Uh, Where well, were we? We were, we were talking about uh, uh, your Galactus privilege. Yes. Yeah, your privilege. <laughs> so, so. What a way. We're talking about privilege. The Galactus shows up. Yeah, that makes sense. Jimmy, uh, <laughs> you, you have, well, how did collecting start for you? Would you, because you've got some, you've got some trinkets too. Well, I used to, I used to collect like wrestling figurines and oh, like yeah. uh, most of the issues of WWE magazine and then PlayStation magazine and things like that. But I wasn't really like an action figures kind of guy. I had a lot of rescue rangers. They were, <laughs> yeah, nice. they were cool. Rescue rangers. <laughs> Fighting awesome. for us all. Yeah. <laughs> did you work comics later for you? Because you Comics you, were a lot later for me. You yeah. hooked me up on Comic Storian on YouTube because I'm like, I'm oh, not going to buy, great. but like, yeah, that's kind of what got me. If I want to get like a real quick clip of something, yeah. then I know. And like, that would have been very it's useful. It's pulling from the source. Yeah. That's what I like. You yeah. get all the information yeah. without having to read. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really can't. important. Well, Unless you put it on the back of your toilet and then you've got lots of time. Exactly. Yeah. And Thank all you. comics just get. Wild, like they, it's hard if you're trying to get started in a comic book series that's like at issue one thirty something. It's hard. There's like a thousand different worlds that have happened already within that run. Right? <laughs> that's like, the thing. Like I keep saying, like I'm gonna jump in, and Dan keeps saying, like, okay, here's what you should read. Here's so he's yeah. got me on um, the Civil War series right yeah. now, yeah. and so like that's where I'm starting. It's a great series. It's yeah. it's so good. I think that's a great place to start because it's already its own universe. There's not a lot yeah, of origin exactly. stories. Yeah. It's just diving and, right in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I, actually surprised I tried to get Dan out here today, but he said that you guys smell and he hates you. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dan said that about me? Specifically, Jimmy. Oh. Yeah. He still smells like fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been here for as long as he's been here. <laughs> I like that smell. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going to point out people's smells. He Those are all the, the candles the, I get. He was of the Ramsey fish and chip <laughs> variety. Fish and chip candles. <laughs> uh, no, that, I think like I want to start collecting again because Jimmy's bought me two books. He's bought me. Uh, I'm just trying uh, to get my kid to read. Dead, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool kills uh, the Marvel universe. Deadpool yeah. kills the Marvel universe. And then you also got me the last Ronin in the TMNT series. Great series. I just want to buy, like I want to buy the comics that look good. I don't want to buy 
the comics. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Good on, Samaritan on, right on, there. Yeah, yeah. Talking let's, about kid friendly. No kidding. First of all, <laughs> thank you for coming to C6, man. This guy, this guy just it's picked up. It's not actually C6. This is what we're calling C4. it. C4. Well, we've called it so many different things today. But dude just picked up my smokables, which is fantastic because that would have ruined the rest of my day. So, sir, you've got you got a prop here. What is that you got? Oh, it's my son's, uh, my son's uh, Tanjiro sword. I call oh. bullshit. That's your sword. <laughs> 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 awesome, awesome. You, oh, he wants you, man. He looks so darn cute. You. Dude, dude, you're off. Awesome. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Michael Thanks, is quite man. possibly the least cool man on the planet. Yeah, no, I am. You're I so am. white. Put that in the that pocket so of white. zips or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> possibly, Mark. Can we just mention how Mike was uh, very on us about not doing anything that wasn't kid friendly? That wasn't kid friendly. And and so he's far, dropped like six F bombs. Mike has he made his a kid cry and he just tried selling drugs. <laughs> to a minor, so. <laughs> we caught you, man. That's not good. That's not a good look for real debaters. C4. <laughs> it's yeah. wilder than ever. Stands for a cannabis. <laughs> C7 now. Yeah, yeah, C7, yeah. yeah. So, I think I'm a C42 right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, <the> cursing. Cannabis <laughs> <laughs> cursing. cursing Comic Con. <laughs> good bonus. Oh, too funny. Oh boy. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, what's how about the what's everybody's go. favorite thing either comic or card or toy? What's the f- what's the what's thing? your prize possession? Yeah, what's your prize like, like what's, Oh my god. Yeah. What's yeah. that oh. one thing that you're like I still have it? Like, you know, like, or if that's a thing, like, if you're like, yeah, I got this when I was 10, okay. still have it, or... Wait, hey, where are you going? Doug, general. Get, Doug, Rose, get over here. No, no, no. You guys, <laughs> friends of the show can't go yet. You got to show up to what you this got is, today. This is, this is Doug and his lovely daughter, Rose. Rose, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Youngest person to talk on the show. Besides, actually, no, I think you've got the record for that. I don't... I, well, it depends. Rose, how old are you? I think it's tied. It's L- tied. Lily was nine You're when nine? she was on oh. the show, too. We're trying to get into the nine-year-old demographic, so thank you very much, Rose. And this is this is Daddy. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hi. Uh, this is Doug. What did you guys buy? What did you guys buy? What did you get today? Yeah. We bought some uh, GMB Chami- Chamichuk, uh, oh, yeah. um, uh properties, uh, some books. Nice. Uh, we're actually uh, doing a movie with it. Right now. Hey. hey. Tell us more. Tell us more. Super exciting. Yeah, what can you tell? Dish. It's called The Princess and the Dragon. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh, we're going to be doing the editing. They're just finishing shooting tomorrow, actually. Yay. That's, That's super really exciting. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. No, that's great. We just, uh, the guy who bought the Galactus left here, the $700 Galactus. Yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah. Jimmy's like, you need to stop and tell us. <laughs> yeah. We caught him on yeah. the way out. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. did you do it? I also have like two boxes of comics and I need to bring them and get them. Right? You still yeah. have those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I have that one, I have that one. Nice. Maybe that's what you should do. I think I should probably do yeah. that too. You need, you need come back next year proper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll let you guys go. Thanks for stopping. Always great seeing you. Nice to see you. Bye, Rose. (laughs) See you guys. Did I swear? No, you did a great job. Not that time. You noticed nobody was crying. Congratulations. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Yeah, there wasn't. A, it looked like they put stuff. I in thought their mouth. for a minute there you were trying to imply that Emily was nine. <laughs> <laughs> so, because you were like, "How old Emily?" and she's Emily's like, "Well, how old are you?" and I was like, "That would have been, you, that been great." You're like, See, I did start I'm using retinol recently, so <laughs> you can really tell. Like, and then you were like, "Oh, we're tied." And I was we're like, tied. "Yeah, you are." Yeah, I'm going for the nine-year-old look. Right okay, yeah. Charles. What's what, Charles? You started the question. So, what's your favorite property? Or oh piece of man. That's really, really tough. You asked uh, it, man. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Um, like, is it your, one of your Lego pieces? Is it? You know what's funny is I'll say it's related. actually it's a comic book. Actually, funny enough, uh, this is one of my favorite stories to tell, cover to cover. I went there and I bought the hundredth issue of Spawn and the hundred and first issue, and uh, I knew at that time that the hundredth issue of anything is usually a big deal. Like. And the way that the cover centennial, was centennial, right? It's a centennial anniversary, right? It's right, and making it to a hundred, no matter what, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. And the cover is the hundred, and Spawn is sit, is like on top of it, like grabbing it, kind of thing. So I was like, okay, they're really. I'm in. Anyways, I bought these two comics for three dollars and fifty cents each. Oh my gosh! And uh, as I was leaving the comic book, like uh, cashier guy was like, basically realizing how cheap I got these comics, and was trying to talk to me to like. Maybe he's like, give which him a ones are those? More. He's like, wait, you got the spawn, and I'm like, uh, I'm like almost out the door, and I fucking, I knew something you start was up. Running. Oh, I left. You're like, like that I knew, IKEA commercial. Start know, the car. Yeah, literally, like <laughs> I robbed it. I robbed it, and uh, 
No, and funny enough, like, I, so every comic I've ever owned, I, except for the crate, because I don't have a thousand years. Because we don't know what's in the crate. <laughs> yeah. Could but be every, anything. Every comic when I was growing up, I'd read it once, and then it's in the sleeve. I'd retape it, and that's it. I know I read it. I know what it's about. And then now I'm like, okay, it's a collector's item. I think so, you're just trying to avoid telling us that you've been collecting P-Boys for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> thousand dollar collection. I'm sitting <laughs> on. No, no, and I read it, and I, it was, it's a great comic, and I get why it was a big deal. And funny enough, uh, I went on eBay. This was like 10 years ago. I went on eBay, and at the time, someone was willing to pay 500 bucks for this. Wow, comic. 10 years yeah. from then. So yeah, I haven't checked more. since. Now I haven't checked since, but I would hope it's no. at least 500 I think still? comics depreciate <laughs> as soon as you take them off the lot. <laughs> <laughs> you drive them away. Yeah. Like 10% They're going to know that it's not the right tape. Yeah, it's like exactly. art tape. Walk two right. You walk two feet from the table. Sorry, $700. Oh, this comes right. from no, 1936. This, like, I, I don't like that. I kept that. going back to cover to cover, and this guy hated me. Hated me. And anytime I would buy new comics, I would go to the other cashiers. I bought Mark for his birthday. Day. He'd redirect you to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can buy a, a membership to Marvel online and get their entire. They've, they've digitized. See, I didn't know that. That's pretty sweet. They yeah. digitized their entire collection. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you can read the comic books you can never read because you don't want to open them. Yeah. Well, and how do you I, find it? Yeah. I, and I got it from. <laughs> yeah. Mark. I got that's it from a good Mark. Part. And like he's like, yeah, I've read the books that I'll never be able to read because I, can't I just open can't it. open yeah. it. I just can't yeah. open it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And like that's the thing too. Like you get a thing, and like with comics. Like, with anything else, I mean, okay, you put a coin in a case, as long as it doesn't find a chemical reaction somewhere, you're pretty safe. As long as you, you don't know, forget like, that you buried it in a basement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 in a wall. More yeah. great. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> with comics, like, burnt, well, not burnt, who's lighting a comic on fire, but, like. F- with your oily-ass fingers. But your fingerprint, fingerprint, like, your fingerprints, fingerprints, they take it away oxidation, right away. Oxidation. Everything, yeah. But dog te- like, dog, dog, what are they called? Dog, dog tail, tears. Dog tears. <laughs> te- dog tears. Dog, dog like ears. A, dog earring a page, yep. or like, you fold it, or you gross yep. it. Even the bend, the staple placing, like there's so much that goes into the appreciation or depreciation of a comic book. For sure. That everything else is kind of safe. Like you buy a toy. If you're not playing, like I don't play with my lightsaber ever. Well, I do play with my yes, lightsaber. Yes, he does. I do play with my lightsaber. He tried to lie. I, yeah. I definitely have played. Hang on a minute. Wait, <laughs> I'm going to say, played, I, was, I played with your lightsaber. I've always played like, with my lightsaber. That's totally what I meant. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to say it but anyway. Like, that, that was, that, that, that's twenty nine ninety five of product and then another 250 of experience. Yeah, I still don't even play with that thing. You right? took the yeah, lightsaber yeah, yeah. class that they did a comic con this year. That's right? just because yeah. you saw the no. kid break their lightsaber the second they left the lightsaber. Yeah, I realized. Experience. I was like, you did. <laughs> you nervous. did the pressure test for me you that fool, I didn't want to do. Said. So, <laughs> well, and we were talking like I'm, I'm, a, I'm still like I'm a sucker for. <laughs> I paid way too much money, in my opinion, for that popcorn bucket. But every time I look at it, I'm like, You're happy. I don't regret it. it. You know I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Associated with yeah, and you know what? And it's one of those things where I'm like, they may never make this version of this popcorn bucket again. They won't. They won't. Right. So yeah. it's neat to have that. And if I ever want to, like, if I come to a C4 when I'm 20 years from now or whatnot, I would be interested to just see what would someone be willing to pay for that. Because that's what's interesting. Who knows? Well, one day Do you have to give like a like a Carfax report history of what you have and haven't <laughs> yeah. done with that popcorn? <laughs> See, <laughs> it's not the dude bucket, man. Oh, that's what I was like. Is it the dude bucket? you put a black light in there? Yeah. 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 Charles, <laughs> technically. It's just, uh, what is it? Cytoplasm. You are second. <laughs> like, I just want to bring it back to something. You said that there's so many comics, it's impossible to know where to start, right? Yeah. You are second in line in a now probably going to be everyday thing is this a hypothetical question no this is this is a scenario that you're in you are second to the to the dune bucket if you have the dune bucket yeah. and this bucket yeah. you'll have both new yeah. Yeah. emotional popcorn themed buckets yeah. one day yeah, you that's... might be able to sell yeah. a collection of popcorn themed buckets yeah. to someone who wants to fuck them even uh, that's like... my point is that someone will one day want to have them all <laughs> no, and so that they can <laughs> and then you can sell you'll have money like and buy then, all the buckets that people want. I buy and those like fine. those that collector right. cups, <laughs> like those yeah. collector. I remember like Seven Eleven. Anything you can dunk yourself in, man. That's like, just, that ain't right. <laughs> I know it's not right, but some <laughs> everybody's got a thing. No, and and you know what's that's what's the ultimate coolest thing about what makes a collectible is it's basically at the end of the day it's what we all unanimously agree. It's or worth because it's what any like, person is willing to pay for it. Do you right? Think these that's what I'm saying. That's art because it's not like gold is in it. Like it's not an actual like. It's not an actual material that you're like, no, this is worth That's because of right. gold. It's literally plastic. So yeah. if I'm saying it's seven hundred dollars for that Galactus, we're all being like, yeah, that's fair. But when you think about it, it's like, 
is it though? It's just plastic, <laughs> and we're saying it is, right? Everything. But that's what yeah. I love as about much it. as someone's willing to pay for. Exactly. It. Yes. And that's, that's what I love about Carl's collectors. getting an e- uh, not an econ degree, but a Cricom. A Cricom, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I can. It's blown away by the until you by make the science it, of economics. Yeah. Unicron yeah. degree. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's that's like, why. Wow, supply and demand. I think everybody is interested by Antiques Roadshow because at the end of the day, it's someone looking at and being like, "Yes, isn't that what this is?" Right? Like the coin thing. Yeah, like the coin thing. Like you had no idea, but someone's like two thousand. You're like, "Okie doke." Yeah. I, d- right, I did. Right. I did run it by a couple more people just to make sure. For sure, right? But it's one of those things where you're like, uh, okay. Yeah. My <laughs> most, my most prized is like one of my least prized. Like you'd think it would be my Muppet. It's not my Muppet. <laughs> you think it would? He's be... gonna feel that. He yeah. yeah. He didn't mean it, Muppet. <laughs> my. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up in the Listening studio tomorrow to the show and right just now. turn the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Graffiti all over it's the like wall. Like Kurt Cobain <laughs> playing <laughs> to the wall. Uh, you'd think it'd be my Muppet, it's not. You'd think it'd be my lightsaber, it's not. you think it would be my movies hat and my... Oh, yeah. It's not. No. It's my multi-pass. From, oh, yeah. Oh, your multi-pass. Yeah, okay. That's multi-pass a wicked one. Yeah. From Fifth Element. That's pretty Just wicked. because Lilu is, like, a, 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 a prop. I like a prop more than I like a collectible. Right? You want like it to a, be real. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want something that, like, cosplay-ish. I guess yeah. is yeah. more my yeah. damn right. Like yeah. I want the gun gun gun. I want yeah. I want the big sword like yeah. to scale. Yeah. To scale. <laughs> and there's so. been a little bit of cosplay here today. There has been some cosplay. Yeah, yeah there's which is also kicking around. Cosplay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of there Demon was Slayer. um what's the from uh, the but Kill Bill the uh, Gigi? Oh, Go-Go. G- Go-Go. 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 Go-Go Yubari? It's funny you mentioned yeah. that. I just rewatched it uh, a couple days ago. Nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that today. One or two. One I love the... But I gotta watch both. I always rewatch them. You have to watch both. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like, weird to watch like little, both. Little yeah. known fact. I'm just gonna watch two. I've never just watched two. Yeah. If I'm watching two, I'm gonna it's because watch I just one. watched <laughs> one. But yeah. I think they shot most of it the first time and then did very little the second time. They meant to be watched together in my mind anyway. It's one movie. I sit down and watch the whole thing. Yeah. What a messed up story about collectibles. So the first time we went to Vegas. There's a store there called Bobbles and Blades. No, this was in South Dakota. Bobbles and Blades. And it was like replica Wolverine claws, replica oh, cool. predator stuff, right? Like yeah, it yeah, was yeah. That store. But they had, you could get Bills, you could get Kiddos, you could yep. get Black Mom, you can get everybody's sword series, right? right? So you had the big one, the little one, and then the yeah. one for Seppuku. And uh, some dude, like they're real. Yeah, well, they're real. Yeah. Some dude was like, "How sharp?" And he ran his hand across it. No. Oh, no. Cut this his, was like cut two his days open. before I was at the store. Oh no. And cut his hand. Like, open. Cut not his a hand smart wide, man. Like wide ah, open. Like not a very smart ah, man. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, they're real blades. Yeah. And they make them replica. Do like, not touch. Like it's not. It's not going to be like you know, war ready. But it's no, also no, but not, they're they're not uh, fake though. They're not. They're not. I'm not yeah. war ready either though, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are any of us? <laughs> yeah. We're doing a movie uh, podcast. Yeah. That's right. You'll remember. I think Emily. Everyone will remember. I'm always thinking I'm older than I am. But Army Surplus in Winnipeg, oh, when yeah. that yes. was a thing, yeah, they used to do that. They had. Yeah, uh, they, they had. had uh, what is it? Bayonets? Lord of the Rings was the big one. <laughs> oh my god. I remember when I went in there and they had Aragon sword, yeah. like replica. Yeah. Sweet. And they had the. Um, uh, I forget what they're called, but the the main. Um, Orc that like growls at him when he cuts his head off. Remember how they had those like? Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They had the like kind of square. You know, you know you're in the right company. Way. <laughs> <laughs> they had like a kind of like square blade, and they made those. They had link swords. Like they made. That's really cool. Yeah, they used to. I mean, again, yeah, it was something stupid. Like remember, but yeah. it was like nobody went there for those. Everybody was just like. Cool. No, it was like, let yeah. me touch they go, But they go to get, like, that sweater with the, like, elbow patches yeah, and, like, yeah. the shoulder patches that yeah. come out or with a yeah. sweater. Or, <laughs> or a yeah. chain yeah. I think it, it's the same thing as when a dealership has, like, one of those bright orange trucks, <laughs> yes. bright lime green trucks. Yes. They're not looking for everyone to buy them. They're looking for that one specific yeah. person. Who's like, yeah. 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 And then yeah. they make a big deal. They drive it out of the show, right? It's like, the they truck make a big I wanted. Thing. Galactus yeah. guy. Galactus, yeah. And everybody stops walk and asks out, you, tell me about, about your truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that right. dude that dude stopped the show. Like every tell me about your truck. That was so have you and have you guys seen the video of it assembled? Like it is fucking so cool. Hey, hey, it's hey. Sorry. Seven. Seven. That's seven. <laughs> I mean that's you know, I think it's about ten actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Between Goodness the two me. of you, it's about even. Can't uh, take you guys anywhere. Do we have a counter? <laughs> no, we don't have it's a counter. It's just me. I'm counting. It's you. No, we well, don't have a counter. She's, Emily's shaking her finger at I'm us. I'm like, come on, She's not guys. happy. Come on. She's so, not angry. She's just disappointed. Disappointed, <laughs> yeah. I really <laughs> thought I, I had I expected more of you. This is off topic, but I just have an interesting question. When did you get that power as a mom that disappointed really like worked harder <laughs> oh. than being angry? Because um, that's a power that parents have that I'm very jealous of. Like dad's strength. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. So like dad strength. Yeah, yeah old yeah. enough when they knew the difference between like something that they shouldn't have done because it okay, was dangerous. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> guys. We got cosplayers. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh yes. yeah. Do you mind? Would you mind coming over and telling us exactly who you are? Uh, I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm Howl Pendragon. I'm Chai. Hello. Amazing. And, and what? It, what? Where? I'm sorry. Where is this from? I'm not as well informed as. I'm from Howl's Moving Castle. I know. I love Howl's yes. Moving Castle. I fly Rush. One Piece. Yeah. This is amazing. These and are I really love great. these. I'm these the oldest really one of well the group, done. so they will know. I will. I will <laughs> oh, they're I will aware the, of that. Yeah, these yeah, are great. I think they've seen. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I've shown them my. You guys, <laughs> you guys are great. Killed you guys it. look awesome. Thank you. You guys killed it. Yeah. Thank really, you for really coming. Great. Enjoy That's inside. So awesome. Have a great day. <laughs> those are awesome. They are Sorry really to cut good. you off. I was just like, those people no, need to and be introduced. And they're made like they're really. That's really cool. They're. I love people that make costumes and bring them all out. It's great. Yep. Right. Is, the point was when they were old enough to realize not just like right from wrong, but like something that was bad, dangerous versus something that was bad. Like, right. ugh. so probably like don't jump off the roof when they were five. So yeah. maybe like start the power started seven years ago. <laughs> the power. <laughs> I love that. Good for yeah. you. That's awesome. Uh, Emily, what's your oh. most prized possession besides um, your Englishman? <laughs> besides my Englishman. Your Englishman. Uh, my most prized possession actually is a comic a set of comic books wow. but this is very specific it is my complete um like works of calvin and Hobbes. Wow. sweet yes Ooh. and i got it for so it's a it's a box set and it's every single it's the they call it the essential i think or not the essential sorry the yeah the complete i don't know but it's the entire the, like the essential bruce springsteen the yeah, essential the essential calvin yeah, yeah. Hobbes. so it's the entire set um being to end in this really nice like big box and i got it as a i think a graduation gift from my grandparents and I love it Calvin and Hobbes was like such a huge part of my childhood I know every Calvin and Hobbes comic inside out and backwards and uh, yeah Bill Watterson obviously is dead now yeah, yeah. and he I don't know his comics are just like they touch my heart so much if you go on my That's Facebook awesome. if you go to like actually my Facebook my back my background thing is the last ever Calvin and Hobbes comic where it's like they're they're tobogganing down the hill it's like it's a beautiful world Hobbes old buddy let's go exploring oh, that's yeah so nice. Yeah, that's so awesome. That's my prize possession. That's Jimmy. Wicked. Well, I don't know if it's my prize possession, but it's something that I brought today for a little bit yeah. of fun. Uh, these are some oh, Simpsons themed Pokemon Simpsons cards. Simpsons themed Pokemon yeah. cards. Wait they're really minute. great. They're really great. This so is, they're po they're Simpsons characters. Can I touch it with my oily fingers? Absolutely touch them. Yeah. But can I lick them? I lick them every okay. day. <laughs> they're so scratching. Maybe stuff. don't. <laughs> so the pizza chef, who is Pizza Spin. And he does the pizza spin in the risotto riot. Uh, it's unless this attack knocks out the defending Pokemon, returning the defending Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's the, the thing. You can actually play with to, these. That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, these yeah absolutely. Up play this is called thumbs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a it's Lugia. a guy out of the UK that does it, and <laughs> he just he does a lot of Simpsons related stuff. He does that's a lot so of '90s cool. things. And so cool. It, these were these are something that caught Zoe's eye, and she's like, Jimmy would love these for his or her or for my birthday, and I just absolutely do. Double yeah. detention. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? Oh my goodness! And there's just so funny. many more. Like there's so many more. He sends them out in packs like this, so you never really know what you're gonna get. It's just, it's just like, just like Pokemon, Pokemon cards. Yeah, like, yeah. which That's is really awesome. Cool. Does he have? Um, is there like a Charizard in his collection? Like I a think golden? There is, but I can't think of who it would be. <laughs> but oh. I just, I love the combos. Like they put a character like, uh, on. They basically just move a face onto the Pokemon. Alien Mr. Burns would work really good as its own card, almost <laughs> he like would. he's his own. Like he brings you love as like the max Break power. Break his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Release the house. He brings you love. See, I can play this game. Look at him. Yeah. You did it. So, oh, did I tell you guys our next plan? We're going to be do. We want to do Simpsons trivia at LBJ, but at the same time, Michael's going to be competing with everybody. Oh my, oh my God, goodness. that's great. Do you have? Are you going to watch like as much as you can between now and then, or something? Yeah, or I might go in cold. Yes. I love the idea of him going in ice cold. We should call I think it, so we too. We should call it LBJ v Mike. Yeah, <laughs> like, like it Simpsons should be. Trivia, LBJ yeah. v Mike. Anyone who beats Mike gets a little proud. Yeah, I'm 100 down. Yeah. For this that's actually a really now it's a gimmick as opposed to just me being kicked in the yeah it's a gimmick <laughs> but i love it there you go but i think we should also tell everyone that you're a mastermind trivia expert that's, really oh, Simpsons. Oh, and and that's why everyone's <laughs> versing you is because you're so good and here's what here's what we'll do here. but <laughs> anyone who's ever heard the show will know <laughs> but here's here's what we'll do and michael's seriously marking and there's down at his least answer. seven people who have heard this show before <laughs> so <laughs> you guys you guys should have me that's every you, you answer the crowd and then you go michael what did you answer yeah <laughs> Yeah, Michael. let's start with you guys because we know Michael got it. Yeah. What did you guys? And now, and, and now, then we go to Michael. My mom, we know my, mom my mom has to come. Your mom has oh, to host. Oh, you guys can be on the team. Oh, she can host it. She's like, this is why yeah. I never wanted you to watch it. 
She's secretly been watching all these this years. This is so yeah. inappropriate. Michael, remember when I told you to go for a drive with your father? It's because I was watching this great episode of Who <laughs> Shot Mr. Burns. Yeah. <laughs> Who Shot Mr. Burns, Michael? Yeah, do you know? Listener, you are in for such a treat. I do this. I can't, I can't even. One of my favorite Tell seasons. us, Michael, who shot Mr. Burns? Uh, I know it's Baby Maggie. Oh, he oh wow. <laughs> but I mean, everyone knows OJ did it, too, so that's not really... <laughs> <laughs> Why, Charles? What makes you think OJ it's did it? It's just 90s <laughs> trivia. DNA. <laughs> DNA evidence, I think. You know no one else would have done it. Charles, you know what? <laughs> the kill is still out there. <laughs> the juice is loose. The juice is loose. <laughs> we were talking about the Beatles juice trailer, and I oh love that God, he was I like, the juice wait. is loose. The juice is loose. Uh, kill I can't me. wait for that. Okay, it looks great. I got, yeah. a, looks I got great. a question. Shoot. There's so many different levels of fandoms, but which is the which is the one collection of, like, what do you think? Does Pokemon sit at the top? Of the collector's list is it huh. magic, like magic cards? Yeah, yeah, magic. It's probably yeah, in the yeah. world oh, of no. collecting. It's gonna be like Warhammer. Oh, it's Warhammer. War. I think. Oh, see, Warhammer's gonna tabletop. see a huge increase once the Warhammer series launches with Henry yeah. Cavill, and that's gonna be the best. And do you know why that's gonna be the best? Because Henry Cavill's hot. Because yep. he plays. So hot. No, no, no. He plays the game. No, yeah, he's like a huge uh, player. Yeah. Oh, make he's He's one of them sexy nerds. Oh, yeah. So, so a yeah. big rumor that he might be the MCU's Wolverine. Oh variant. He's variant. Actu- but he might actually be, like, a variant for Hugh Jackman, but actually this sounds the new amazing. MCU Wolverine. Oh, Secret Wars Wolverine. Because he's well, it's a be variant somebody for Hugh Jackman, but he hair. might not be I'm ready for a it. variant. So. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I got to take a minute that's and just big, picture that. That's a big rumor. And also they're yeah, saying, I like it. <laughs> my other favorite rumor that I'm reading right now is they're saying Get that lost. shot in the trailer of it looks like Wolverine wearing the um, the white suit coat is actually Daniel Radcliffe's variant oh of Wolverine. Because there they're was just, a big rumor. They're, doing, they're just picking the hairiest actors they can find. <laughs> they're going yeah, down they the are. list and they're like, they if are. there was even a remote rumor of someone being like, hey, I think this person would be good. They're like, throw them in. Very yeah, make it happen. Them in. Yeah. Okay, I love it. But yeah. answer my question. What is the <laughs> top collecting like what is it what is what is the group that's the biggest what's like what's the swift i think emily's right i think it's probably world. warhammer, you think it's warhammer. warhammer. the swifties I of think the collector it's, world. it's something right? i think it, yeah it, it, i mean it's the three main ones it's something comic books it's something cards and then it's something like Tabletop. figures yeah. or some, yeah. yeah well they each have their own place like yeah. funko funko pop alone is has dominated yeah i'm a huge what'd you say i'm a huge fan of those Gundam. Oh, yeah. Gundam, too. Gun- yeah. yeah. Didn't That's even think true. of that. That's true. Yeah. You know what? I think you uh, might be right. I think this might be a perfect time. I want to start bringing some some people over and some of our neighbors. And that's... Uh, You're going to go fish them? I'm going to go fish them over cool. here. So <laughs> you guys hold tight for a second. All right. So uh, first of all, Silent T, thank you for stepping over and talking to us. Uh, what are you What are you here for today, man? What do you have? I'm here to sell my self-published uh, comic books. Uh I, I have three of them here. Uh, first one is uh, toasted blueberry banana split with a cheddar cherry drizzle drop. <laughs> and then second one is intolerance. And then the third one is a sweet song. That's and my awesome. fourth one was just funded on Kickstarter. Still has to get printed, but it's called uh, Worry Yourself into Oblivion. Oh, That's I awesome. connect with that. Okay, so first, um, congrats, by the way. Why the short awesome. title for the first book? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and where's the inspiration from? Like, what's that story? Um, the title is supposed to it's supposed to sort of describe um, just a little bit of everything in there it's it's 52 pages long um, uh, but the title is it's I guess it's to illustrate like what would happen basically if you were to bite into the comic book that's what it would taste like it, it's, oh, okay so hang on, let me get this let me get my mic straight here uh, so if the story is exactly what happens if you were to bite the comic book it's, yeah, basically. It's like yeah. a, that's over, awesome. a big that's, overview of what that comic yeah. book tastes like. That's, a, that's so a really cool, cool sort idea, of man. a poetic way I tried to describe it. Um, so cool. I was all over the place with the title. Uh, no, I love it. I love a long, no, that is right. huge that is word so filled good. title. I yeah. think that's absolutely yeah, great. It makes me want to eat your book is, what, <laughs> is what's happening right now. When did you get into comics? Um, okay, well, I've been into comic. I've, I mean, I've I've loved comics my whole life. Um, but as I've do started, we, as do we. And I think I was probably like drawing them like even as a little kid um before you even knew it and then i wanted to i think it was well it was about two or three years ago i just decided i need to make one and i need to print one and that's all and i don't know what that means or where i go with that (laughs) well you've got three books already man that's three more books than the four of us yeah absolutely come up with that's awesome um what's the uh second one about intolerance um they're all what does that one taste like 
<laughs> that one, uh, there's a bit of a, uh, a lactose intolerant uh, theme going on. Nice. Yeah. I dig it. I a dig little, it. Um, I think I, because I did develop lactose intolerance. Uh, As an adult, I, I did too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What a bummer. Not that long ago. Yeah, it is a bummer. So I guess <laughs> this was sort of. Don't me. let it stop you. No, I know. This was probably me trying to deal with that too. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Um, That's awesome. I don't know. The stories all range from being like there, there's horror themed uh, 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 stories in there, uh, comedy, sort of slice of life moments, stuff like that. But some reoccurring characters, some new characters. So tell us a little bit about books that got you inspired and made you want to make your own. Um, I've been inspired by uh, all sorts of. I mean, I. I'm probably more of like a DC fan. Oh, than I am of my man! Yeah. <laughs> you want to stay on there? I'll leave now. <laughs> you could go. I don't know. I, I sort of uh, like their more uh, gritty stories. Uh, it's I for adults. Like, yeah, I feel like they're a little <laughs> bit more serious than. Um, I don't know than than, than the competition, yeah, than the competition <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> um, I don't know, and they delve into some more mature subject matter, and I just feel like more of a connection with that world any anytime i try to read anything marvel i'm a little lost i couldn't somehow. agree with a person more <laughs> <laughs> yeah. jimmy actually paid you to be here today so <laughs> that, didn't he? i didn't know <laughs> right there's just a lot of intelligent people here today <laughs> and i appreciate that <laughs> i can't think of a, an actual dc book that i read recently that draws no new 52 um, I did. I was collecting during the New Fifty Two. I don't know. The last nice. book I keep going back to is sort of. Uh, I was reading a lot of uh, Lobo, like Simon oh, yeah. Bisley stuff on Lobo, or Keith Giffen, um, nice. who wrote it. I I would keep rereading that and just sort of the bonkers like comedy and goofiness of it all. Lobo does what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no beating that. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. So if someone were to come and say, like, oh, what comic books should I buy while I'm here? So we'll send them your way to give us a little, like, the um, elevator pitch. What, what's going on in there? Who should guess, come and take a look? Um, well, my most recent one called A Sweet Song. That one's interesting because it's actually a poem from start to finish. Oh, it cool. rhymes Jeez. the entire time. Wow. And I hadn't seen anything like that before other than maybe just small sort of storybooks. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to try a whole comic book in that sense. That's and uh, cool. it's pretty cheesy, but um, it is technically a song, and it's pretty sick, psychedelic as well. I love that. That's absolutely yeah, beautiful. that sounds awesome. That's awesome. It's awesome. Excellent. Jeez, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll be sending a few people your way, absolutely. Well, thank absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. Yeah, dude. Uh, you'll have to give us your socials, everything after you are on the episodes. Now you will be in the show notes, so if someone wants to come find your book, they will be able to come find your book. Thanks, Silent T. Oh, it's Silent T Comics, too, by the way. Is that, that's every, like, at Silent T Comics online? Um, silent underscore T underscore comics awesome. on Instagram. Beautiful. 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 Enjoy great. the rest of your lunch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and also congrats on uh, getting the, the Kickstarter next funding. Kickstarter. That's yes. phenomenal. Awesome. Congrats that's on awesome. three books, man. Like, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's awesome. Soon to be soon four. four. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, soon yeah. to be four. C4. C4. C12. C12. <laughs> it sounds like a new vitamin we shall take. Get, did you get daily doses of C4? Yeah, thing. I got my B12s, Explosion. my C4s. Side sure. effects may include spending lots of money, getting really nerty, yeah, drinking Red Bulls. Drinking Hello, Red Bull. Red Bull. Yes, Yeah, we would love a can of Red Bull. Yeah, the Whoa. average age over here is my in their Do you have a sugar-free in that? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was just so what hang I needed. On, hang on, Red Bull. Um, <laughs> did you guys know this was happening, or are you just two nerds and you were like, we should go? I found it on Facebook events. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Uh, smart awesome. Play. Yeah, smart play. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. <laughs> oh, that nice. Just what I needed. Just what I needed <laughs> to get through the rest of the afternoon. Charles doesn't drink these. So Why doesn't Charles drink one these? Up for him? Sounds like they, Jimmy has two. They make his head explode. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, you get. That was like, the side effect oh, of C12. Yeah, <laughs> I get like. <laughs> And my heart hurts. My <laughs> heart <you're> right. stops. <laughs> um, 
No, like I, I think I might have a bit of a caffeine uh, allergy because I can't drink coffee either. I get like oh, a migraine. Your heart skips a beat. You yeah. get the sweats. It's if not I, like you're in love. It's, it's <laughs> if I had my <laughs> late late onset oh, lactose intolerance, <laughs> late onset ha- lactose intolerance, and then a caffeine allergy, I would just take me out I back don't and know. shoot me. <laughs> right? I, I don't love like I don't love sell anything else. Sell my coins. Else. <laughs> he owns sell my coins. Sell my yeah, coins. Yeah, sell my coins. Tell my story. It's too funny. It's too funny. I can't. Cheese. That now could be a really coffee? good Hallmark movie. I feel like Coin to My Love or something like that. <laughs> Coin, to my, Coin love. to my Love or something. And All right, so to meet up with the key man. <laughs> Dig my treasure. <laughs> she falls in love with the, <laughs> the key, key man. man. The lock. The key to my lock. <laughs> I found this key 30 years ago, and something told me someone might need it. He someday. was. He thought he hey. was unlocking coins when it's really he was unlocking, unlocking her heart. It's Rick Moranis. <laughs> I was just gonna say, is this goes with the Gozerian? <laughs> I'm looking for the key. Are you the key master? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am the gatekeeper. Oh, I just watched that uh, this morning, actually, funny enough. Anything do I we can do one? to yes, get Rick do. Moranis yes, here. Yes, I do. Yeah. Canadian <laughs> yes. love, Rick Moranis. We love you. My so, okay, Charles, you yes. said uh, yeah. before we, we brought Silent T on that like, yeah. there is an interesting, there's sub-collections of, of things. Like, I mentioned the, the KD hockey card, right? Like, that's not a right. in the ether I've never heard of that before. Yeah. But, like, yeah. the promotions that come with the DVD yeah. collecting. Like, we should have, Rob really should have stuck around for this. Yeah, and like, and it's dying, right? Like, they're not making. They're no, soon DVDs not gonna are make not doing DVDs it. or Blu-rays. You know, soon, I right? have this. So I have this thing. What am I gonna I'm do like, with my PS5? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get the disc version? <laughs> I, I got it so I could play with you guys. But like, no, you're you're the, the whole reason one collects a DVD is not to own the movie, but to own all of the beautiful things. That well, at one time, making of the movie. At one time, it was because yeah. we didn't know streaming would be streaming. So well, if I wanted to watch why, a movie, well, why is it that streaming, no matter who, if they own the product or not, right. why does streaming not incorporate that? Because that is a reason yeah. to stay hooked. If I get to watch the making of Lord of the Rings like I did on for my dorks own like co- for dorks like us, for the collected DVDs the that super I can't collector's play anymore, edition. Yeah. Right? You're going to get more people wanting Think to watch your streaming it, service. Without the commentary on Armageddon, we wouldn't have heard Ben <laughs> Affleck t- get told to fuck off by Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We wouldn't have that. That's, that's right. Solid that's 12. Right. I get one. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, it's like a contract. Says I it. somehow a am going to come out of this just squeaky clean, and I don't think that's ever happened in my whole life. <laughs> I'm sorry. At this table, Emily's the good one. Yeah. Where are like, we? Let's be honest, Emily, in every room, you're usually the best one. So. <laughs> but not like good, you know, capital G, just <laughs> yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> you're the best I'm the, around. Exactly. Um, not no, a compliment, like, that song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're the best we've got. <laughs> the best. You're that's the what best he's saying. We've yeah, got. That's not a compliment. No, it's the best there is, the best yeah, there you're was, the best the around. best there ever will be. Well, that's Bret Hart. Yeah. <laughs> She's like Bret Hart. I think Bret Hart was Thanks, quoted guys. as saying F. Goldberg. Probably. That was the last thing he's ever going to oh, say. Oh, yeah. The Montreal <laughs> screw draw. Your, your, your point, though, was um, about the gas can yeah, like with I, the collection of the movie. And, and I appreciated how things were like the promotion of the popcorn bucket, right? Yeah. The same thing yeah. with the movie and the DVD. Yeah. Case. And obviously, because, like, you know, I guess, funny enough, without really thinking about it, I was collecting movies the same yeah. way I was collecting comics and my movie thing still has continued into my adult life. Of I don't course. buy I don't buy movies as much anymore obviously but VHSs that was are making a comeback. Yeah, funny enough. That man. is not something it's I wild. ever thought I would say. I have like a well, whole big collection of them at the cabin. Of course. Yeah. That's yeah. the place Everyone's you watch VHS, VHS movie. Do you, know where, is yeah. that's do you know where the VHS goes to die? The cabin. The cabin? Grand <laughs> Beach. <Yeah. laughs> do you know how much those collections are going to be worth now with a certain Dude, record convention coming? You're absolutely right. The resurgence of vinyl. Yeah. Within the last 20 years. Yep, VHS right. was and they're still, VHS was just yeah. due. They're and they're due still the making collector edition vinyl for new releases. Like yeah. if you buy the latest Taylor Swift album as that's true. a vinyl, my kid, my that's a collector's copy. thing. My that's kid rare. just got like, a Taylor like, Swift album on vinyl. See, and that's yeah. like a big deal. Like, yes, that album's everywhere, but as a vinyl, it's not. Right? I thought so, when you yeah. buy a Taylor Swift album, you just all of a sudden see circles in the mirror and you become a Swifty within 30 seconds. And then you start seconds. hating no, your boyfriend. Uh, yeah, every yeah. purchase of Taylor Swift helps fuel her jet. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has to go get a drink of water from the she kitchen. She does, yes. So how else um, is How am I going to go to Tokyo fly? and the Super Bowl? Oh, no, <laughs> my life. Um, <laughs> That's why they lead a private life. They don't want to know how much carbon emissions they put yeah. per right. pound. Um, um, but yeah, no, I appreciated when studios would make the attempt. Like one that, and I, Mike, I think you have the same one, is for the 15th anniversary for Reservoir Dogs, they released the movie, not just, uh, hey, we made it prettier and the sound better. They it's actually important. released yeah. it. In, uh, it's in a match book. Nice. So from the diner that they're eating yeah. in there. And then it's in the gas can that he uses to 
try and set the dude See, on that's fire. a treat. <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah, you have to actually the open the top that's of the gas can. You yeah. pull it out, and then it folds out like matches in the discs. Like, my, shit like see, that was fun. so cool. I love that. My, I love, right? My Jedi book that I yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Where that's... you press a button, and there, it was a limited series. They did they did the Book of the Jedi, the Book of the Dark Side, the that's Book, right. of, the book of Boba Fett. The, the Book of Jar Jar. The Book of Mormon. The Book of Jar Jar. <laughs> the Book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> 12 plates, one in each book. Who knew Mormonism would make it all the way into the future? I, who knew? <laughs> no, don't be silly. That it's was from like a, lo- a, ga- like a galaxy long ago in a galaxy you're right, you're right. It's yeah. not a In America. Sign. Far, far away. <laughs> Mormonism spreads With all Joe. throughout the galaxy. Is his name no. Joe Johnson? I could have <laughs> bought that book, though, as a thing, like by itself. But I bought the collector series where you press a button and it yeah, comes out. And, right. You know, it comes flying. Yeah, no, like the... The, the care that studios and marketing people take yeah. in that kind of thing. There's a there's a market out there for it. Absolutely. Well, I, like one of my favorites. Dorks like us. Um, yeah, exactly. Saturday, Saturday, table. Speak for yourself. I have uh, Saturday Night Fever on <laughs> I will. DVD. I bought a special edition version of Saturday Night Fever, and what it is is the disc is the disco ball, and as you're taking it out, now it's that's spinning. It. Yeah. That's so cool. And if you oh, have a light on it, missing. it actually... Mi- disco yeah. balls. Right? People don't think about that. We're I missing know. great I know. disc art I know. with DVDs being gone. Yeah. So that's well, that's what kills wrong. me a little yeah. bit. Why do, we, a little bit. why do we do this? Like, I'm going to leave this table do do in this? about an hour, <laughs> and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to spend probably anywhere between 60 to 100 bucks today. Well, what are you buying me? Uh, <laughs> Galactus. <laughs> the small version. The little one, yeah. Just like a little Galactus. The Galactus, the hood ornament. Yeah. Galactus, the thing to hang in your rear view. The bed mirror. sheets. Yeah. Galactus. <laughs> Galactus. Now that would actually be cool. I would buy. Do you guys have the Galactus that doesn't go to the galaxy? He just kind of stays in his corner. You know, like you stays a, in his room. Do you have an introverted Galactus? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Finally. Like, okay. Wh- wh- why do I have no room but still buy things that are sitting outside of the studio? Why do I? Addiction. Why do I yeah. want <laughs> yeah. this thing that will sit there that I'll never play with? But I know that because it's there, it makes me happy. Why am I so obsessed with that 3D printed alien head? Because it scratches you know your brain. You know why, Michael? Because it's a horror crux for your childhood. Your childhood is stored in that little thing. And every oh. time you look at it or you touch it, you're like, yep. I think that's that, dead that's on. That's my happy what place. What a nice. That's my happy that was, place. Did you, did you come up with that? I was thinking about when he was trying to think about it. And I'm like, because that's the hardest question I find to ever ask. Because people ask me, like, why do you get those T-shirts? Why do you get, like, why won't you spend a hundred dollars on something you need for your house but you'll spend seven hundred like i need to that is such glasses, a right? beautiful analogy it's kind of like a heart i like, love that whenever i look at comics whenever i look at my things it gives me like that's my happy place like there's no bad vibes because there's only, only good, good memories yeah, yeah. There's charles only good that's memories. poetic that's it beautiful i it love is. that i now tried but talking one. the rest of the good. show so that's your high <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna use that and i'm out <laughs> that's Charles Greek left the yes. building. So no, that's pretty. too much credit for them. That's Charles. Yeah. That's, that's Charles. <laughs> Charles. Don't give Greek um any credit. No, they no, don't deserve right. We did this it. without yeah. Greek um. No, but it, it is. is. I think that's what it is. And it's because I have the money now, right? Like, I, I, as that's a 12 year old. That's what being an adult is know. about. Like, yeah. you and Claudia can relate really well in this. She's watching um, Buffy for like the 30th time. Oh, my God, time. yes. Yeah. Naturally. And she's getting me into it and she's explaining things to me because sometimes I'll walk in and I'm like, what the f? Because you were this? just yes. episode. What is going on right now? So, did you watch it a lot? Did you watch it a lot? bullets and a gun now? Like, what do you Well, no, what I'm saying is what's funny is like, it takes you back. I nerd out. I nerd out on average more than Claudia will on things. But when it comes to Buffy, this is her realm and not mine. Uh-huh. So did you and watch it a so, lot? Or? It, it, so I've been watching it with her and I, I get it. It's great. It, it is, is great. It's phenomenal. And you got to just take it for what it is. And if you just, like I do with Marvel, like I buy into that world, like Hulk can do this. Yes. If you do that with Buffy, it's so much fun. It's crazy. She kicks ass. It's my parents' favorite it's great. series. But they oh, saw so everything. It's mine too. Like, you know, an episode she showed me and she was like, they won an Emmy for this. It's great. Hush. Yeah, hush. That yeah, was an amazing That episode. is an excellent Because episode. it's not that they muted the audio track. It's they're learning to act without talking to each other yeah. and like that's easier said than done. It's yeah. going back to silent movie acting. It was and so good. It was great. So it was good. really Andy great. Head. And Sorry. I'm getting into Spike. ASG. I get why Spike. Oh, I love Spike. Spike. Yeah. I love to hate him and I can't believe he's not British. That I know. blew my really? Yeah. yeah. I heard him talk normal in an interview and I was like What's going on here? <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I ever tell but, you? But Dan, Claudia gets really? excited. No. And the more she watches it, the older she gets. <laughs> no, she gets more. more. I'm the same. Right? Sure. And I feel, and that's what it is, is because she tells me, I'm like, 
so what is Buffy for you? And she's like, I used to run home and like I'd throw my bags out. And that's what it is. You're still yeah, it's bringing that, yeah. yourself your to that moment. And it's like, when you were All excited about stuff things, can be going on. I can be stressed, before but the I go fire back to that. went out <laughs> in your yeah. eyes. Before, yeah, before, before I died your inside. spark was extinguished <laughs> yeah. by reality. And those death. little things, if I got rid of all those little childhood horror cruxes, I would just be dead inside. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, I love it. I actually, I mean, I don't love the dead inside, but no, I love yeah, the, yeah. I love the analogy. I it's love so the true. dead inside. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the dead inside. I'm, I'm not dead inside. I just had a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm feeling alive. And that takes our moment to say this uh, amazing episode was surprisingly sponsored by Red Bull. Blue Chew. Red Bull Blue Chew. Not yet. <laughs> not this Someday. week. Someday. Like we keep saying it. So, I mean, it might happen. You got to manifest days. destiny, yeah. Michael. The secret, right? What would that be the rock hard secret. moment? <laughs> My mom made me watch The Secret. <laughs> I learned nothing. I, yeah. re- I read that book. <laughs> I learned vision boards are insane. <laughs> yeah, I read that book. Manifestation is the key to everything. That's I'm right. going to start manifesting money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. I still don't have it. Yeah. So I have less of it. I, can you manifest wrong? Yeah. <laughs> like, am I, yeah. am I, I minusing my money, money every time I think it, about yeah, it? Yeah, it seems like it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you got to focus harder. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> No, and you know what? And that's why the more we have Comic Cons, the more we have all of these, uh, it just makes me happier and happier because well, they're getting bigger every year. Well, and, and yeah. I don't know about you. We all share. But when I when we went to Comic Con, uh, no big deal. When we did our panel, <laughs> and you're walking around that room, and it's f- crowded full of people. I'm a kind of person who doesn't really like that kind of I thing agree. and <laughs> being agree. surrounded by dozens of people, and then you're there. It's my nightmare. And you're like, oh, this is great yeah. everyone's the exact same as me yeah you're, you're, you're all i fit same. in here yeah. oh. you're yeah. all dialed into the same thing yeah, yeah. Right? it's also cool being in a room where I you're still not want to kick a kid when they get in my way <laughs> like i mean we're all dialed into being the old here. two-hand shove always yeah works. yeah or just I belly mean, bump them it's maybe also don't. Belly, like, the belly bump great being in a room with people that are nerdier or yep. just the community, as nerdy, the community like, of this yeah is that like there's people that are dressed up here. There's yeah. people that are not dressed up here. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's young levels. people, there's old people, there's grandmas, there's grandpas. There's every creed, every color, every whatever. They're all here. That's what's neat about this is that movies actually don't That's do what that. comics are. And and TV shows, like, you can you can have all that stuff. But the, the thing about a comic book, because that's what this is at its core, yeah. is that everybody can own a piece of it everybody can have an issue of yeah. it yeah. everybody can feel special if that's a very special like you can it's take not something just one home. person with that issue if you were smart and you collected it so then it keeps growing because they're like well why do you like this book well, why do you like this book you can't get that with a lot of other no conventions like at the Genghis Khan con it would just be murder <laughs> <laughs> yeah Genghis, Genghis Khan, khan. And that's where all the people who are related to Genghis Khan yes. get together yeah, yeah Genghis absolutely Genghis it's called Genghis Khan can you con con <laughs> is what they would ask them to <laughs> I can con con <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you remember Can that. You and then there's also James Con Con. <laughs> yeah, the James Con. James Con Con. Yeah. <laughs> the James Con. It's everybody dressed as James Con from The Godfather. That does sound really fun. Everybody looks like Sunny. <laughs> That's a yeah, great sketch. Yeah, it's a room of Sunnies. It's just a room of shot up Sunnies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like how no one else one is any other James Con. Yeah. Not Misery James Con. No, no. Well, who wants their feet? Not from? Dad from Elf James Con. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. Not, dad. You know, not, that. not Dad from Elf. Especially not That's the only one, one I remember. Uh, he's not he's, even singing. He plays. <laughs> a, he plays a really pervy lawyer in a sh- movie called Middlemen. Yeah, Middlemen, James Con. Middlemen, James Middlemen. Con. Middlemen. Yeah, no, that'd, that'd be a short. Far con. too many of those. Is Scott, con. Can Scott Con bake on James Con, or is it just James Con? That's con? the little room. It. That's Scott the smaller con. room. That's is the it any cons? Like, can we get like Obi Con for like you know? So can you bring a Shwarma Con? <laughs> oh my God, sponsored by Shwarma Con. <laughs> Shwarma Con, con, con from King of the Hill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the only thing that plays at Obi Con is Obi Trice. So our next... Uh, uh, all, That's too many our... gimmicks. He said no gimmicks. <laughs> We're going to have an episode devoted to just planning con. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Con, just planning con, yeah. Con, con. Yeah. Very spe- yeah. hyper-specific yeah. cons. Yeah. <laughs> Very niche cons. <laughs> con from King of the Hill con. <laughs> <laughs> con Junior. Uh, con Junior con. Con Junior con. <laughs> it's its own separate oh. con. <laughs> uh, no, but it's... Uh, you know what? And again... Isn't um, it con from Star Trek? No, that's... Con, yeah, con, yeah, con. yeah. Con, con. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, sorry. Is that the wrath of con. Can you yeah, do the wrath con? Of con. Con. Wrath, wrath of con, con. con. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is art. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing art here today. What's nice though is all these nerds are now becoming older. 
and as they're getting older, no, they're we're realizing not. that hey, so he says they're we, becoming older. Yeah, we're nerds we're until older. they're becoming older. But I, what I like is like again, it, we would say, and again, there's an argument that it could be too uh, saturated, but we were very much growing up where there was maybe a superhero something every couple of years. There wasn't enough. So this and is if it great. sucked, it really sucked. Okay, all right, let's do this here uh, <laughs> com- between the between the four of us. We had Batman '89. We had Superman 82. I was born no, in 1995. Superman was... I know. Superman was <laughs> you were born in 1995? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Superman was 78, Holy I think. 78? 78 okay. Okay. All right. I'm bad with the years. <laughs> I, I, we're getting ask, older. Ask me that sounded insulting. I'm getting it. But, okay. <laughs> yeah. but hang on. Yeah. Your point is, is that we pretty much I had... I look awful. Even Jimmy. <laughs> we only had Superman, Christopher Jimmy. Reeve. We had Michael Keaton, Batman. That's pretty much... The superheroes from of our, our childhood, because it was because we were like until Spider-Man, Spider-Man. and X-Men. I think Spider-Man. I think it was X-Men. X-Men. It was X-Men, X-Men first. So X-Men, X-Men made them me. believe that okay, we can do Spider-Man now. Yeah. Um, but I remember seeing X-Men like in it theaters. It was a gamble to take these characters from oh, their oh, from their and put them on the screen. They didn't think it my, was going to work. Yeah, my no. cousin <laughs> took me to go see because at this time, like, who wants to see this make-believe world with people who can fly? Fight, shoot lasers from. Turns their out eyes. everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Turns yeah. out it's yeah. everyone. Oh, oh wait, people have imaginations. Oh, well, and that's. <laughs> oh, they want to see them actually come on. How screen. nice Escape is it that the general public? Making? Yeah. It's just so nice that the general public can watch these movies and enjoy these movies and now have something to talk about with their nerd friends at work. And we're actually they getting water cooler. And it's really, really it's just right. building bridges. Yeah, really I think, I think it doing. really is, and that's why I don't think it can be oversaturated. And I don't mind I people jumping into these new things. Yeah. I think yeah. it's great. Like we it, bridged they, nerd culture. We did. Well, and how lucky, for everybody. How it. spoiled are we that now we're we're, the we have the so here. much that we're like, really there's is. too much. <laughs> yeah, no offense. When I was growing up, if somebody was like, is there such thing as too much? You're like, no. Okay, right? I, have, there is I, more. Have, I have. I want a, more. I can settle that argument. <laughs> it can be bad. Like, it's allowed like, to be yeah, bad. I'll, just I'll like, see the bad ones. I'm just always going to be bad. Every non superhero movie that comes out isn't amazing. They're still bad movies. Most of them are. So before Marvel did TV, TV, Marvel's theatrical releases were perfectly planned up yeah. until Howard Endgame. the Duck. No, what I'm saying <laughs> is, is the new, new Marvel. Blade. The new. The new. Hey, Blade new. was Blade Not, was good. Blade was good. Was Blade's it great. perfectly planned? Oh yeah. No, it, 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 Wesley well, Snipes is crazy. <laughs> was Blade Trinity perfectly no. planned? No. Blade that Trinity right. was. Okay. okay. What I'm saying get is get some hotties in let's, here. Let's you get, don't get to ignore those Captain yeah. Marvel. <laughs> but I'm capping this conversation in 2008. <laughs> so 2008 and forward, we have these really well-timed released movies that are great. Daredevil. And there is nothing ever like it. There is You're nothing right. ever like it. There has never been, at any point in the 100 years of cinema, a push for such a genre and such a type of filmmaking. So it's not that there's too much. It's just TV was too confusing <laughs> to, have to, to have to jump from big screen to 10 episodes of little screen to the average person, not to this table. We are not in this <laughs> argument. Like, I love the TV set, it, set There's up. nothing wrong with it. Oh, my God. I, I do. It. You're not the general public. Love Moon Knight. Right? It's true. That's why, like, it's, oh, it's not no, too fair. much in the, in regards that it's too much coming at us. It's too much work to stay in the story. Oh, I see But again, that's not too much of the genre. It's too much of having to be like, okay, like so to this navigate movie and honestly, that's, navigates this movie. This, no, that's This fair. show navigates that's back That's honestly this. only if you want to. Because honest, like I was looking at Marvel right now, and it might be because the phase is a little bumpy. But if you didn't watch She-Hulk, if you didn't watch Moon Knight, and you're still just watching movies, I don't think you're out of the loop of anything. But see, I don't think you're, you know, uh, you're going to you miss a couple out on of She-Hulk, small things. Though, yeah. you no, out. What you are missing out on, though, is all those moments where someone's like, oh, did you see who showed up in the storyline? Right, line? but yeah, you know like, what this is now? So, like, if you want, say you wanted... Abomination back. Say yeah. you were an Abomination fan, yeah. and someone says to you, "Abomination came back," and She Hulk. You'd right. be like, "Oh, the pressure to watch this." Watching the movies is a lot easier to take because you've got time in between to get caught up. Having to dedicate so much time, so it, well, it's, it's not but too it's, much of a thing. It's too much to stay up. I think I it's, it's but I think it's at a comic book stage now. Where I get what you're saying, but looking at it from a comic book way, if I just got randomly issue 14 of Spider Man and She Hulk showed up in there. And then you're like, well, did you see that She Hulk has her own series, whatnot? I can take that opportunity and be like, let's oh, go I'll see go those watch comics. That. Yeah, right. Or so you now, can just know in your mind that it exists in another. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And if I want to, it's there. And if I don't, you, right. Yeah. So that's what they need to do: is they need to stop origin stories, and if they do, make it its own thing. Like, do an origin it, story for a character people don't right. know. Like, you know yeah. what I was thinking they should do for the Fantastic Four is uh, those that short they did, the special presentation of uh, Wolf by Midnight. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do that. <laughs> make a 40-minute thing of 
That was the best like, thing Marvel's was ever so done. Good. Make a best forty thing minute done. thing <laughs> where it's like a fake documentary because they're in the sixties. They've already established and be like, Who's that fantastic family? Well, let's do a profile piece. And it's like, here's so and so. Johnny Storm yeah, was well, no like Cronkite right? doing uh, the fantastic thing. Yes, but board. but imagine again and, and again, it's, it's one Loker. of those things where you're not forced <laughs> to watch Loker. it. Yeah. However, it's like a bonus feature. If yeah. you wanna know, boom, and it's well, really great. And then you, you know do what get I mean? your characters where people don't really like they needed to do an origin story for Blue Beetle. There wasn't really enough. Right. And and they, and they haven't done that enough. Movie. I did too. And yeah. they haven't done a lot with that well, property, so you need to do I, it. I watched right? it like and the, immediately watched it again with the kids. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. Mar- Mark George I love Lopez George Lopez. Nailed it. Yeah, he's <laughs> it's so it's weird to go see a comic book movie with Mark now because of there's so much like what do there's so much. But you can ask him because he's so knowledgeable. We you can. can be like, what do I need to know for this? Well, I I was sitting next to him when we went to go see Wakanda Forever. Spoiler alert, um, when we find out that Chadwick's son is in the end, yeah. he went yeah. and bought all the comics that the, have that character in it. Very, very right. smart man. And it's interesting to be a collector now versus yeah. being a collector then because right. now everything is not just based on value of nostalgia, value Absolutely. of artist, value right. of cover. Right. It's based on value of what's going to be made. Right, yeah. what because gets then, its because then to the layman, moment in the sun. To the That's people right. who aren't That's collecting, right. who want to jump in, yeah. and they meant, like, well, the Wakanda Forever book was 12 bucks yesterday. But Not now anymore. that he's in the end credit trailer, it's seventy dollars today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. collecting today is a huge wave well, you have to ride. With it's like the, the same. stock, so market. you have to see yeah. the movies like, look, yeah, to I be able to uh, be informed of what comic books to buy. I have uh, just buying any comic book and having no fucking. You got to know what's coming out. I have thirteen. I have action figures still in the box from Spider-Man Three. I bought them before the movie came out you in have anticipation James Franco of what action I do. Figure. I do. I do. <laughs> awesome. And I left them in the box hidden because I'm like, well. Um, but I bought them because I thought the movie was going to... Because, again, the Sam Raimi franchise was huge. That movie was supposed to be the biggest one. The hype of those toys, boom. Movie wasn't... Like, the movie did successfully well. But, you know, but you around... Sh- you, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. You but shared those... Um, the stills turned into animation yeah. for Spider-Man 4. And yeah. it looked so right. awesome. Yes. Right, right. So I kept those. And you know what's funny? Now... They're getting value going up because yeah. people are like, we want more Raimi. After no, no Way Home, those toys started increasing in value because people are getting hyped for the idea of a Spider-Man 4. I'm glad people are it. saying so, things that I say in my sleep. <laughs> I want more Raimi. I think, you know, well, they said, uh, I think Whether they said right now. feel about that? <laughs> she loves Sam Raimi. Right now, so Sam good. Raimi no, is there. sleeping next to the <laughs> Sam Raimi the super fan. For Sam Raimi in his sleep? Yeah, not great. Well, Raimi Just is calls the number one. Raimi. <laughs> He's the number one pick for Dead. Secret Wars. Dead. And the big rumor is Malkovich and Campbell John might Malkovich. play the variants of what he wanted for Spider Man 4 so cool. in Secret Wars. Because Secret Wars is the timelines fight, meaning yeah. it's not just the Spider, like their villains from their timelines could show up again as well. So, so we're imagine get a weird if we rhino get a guy in a rhino suit. <laughs> yeah, or like okay. imagine Paul if we Giamatti. get a, Malkov- a, a Malkovich flying in as. For a moment, let's walk up better. to somebody who just watches the movies and present this conversation to them and expect them to be like, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, and that is why, yeah. Yeah. And the, yes, that is why movies mean. have to be so generally appealing and stick back to the movies. Like, yep. we're here for the TV shows. Don't get me wrong. But the movies is where a lot of the TV shows should have been yeah. shown on screen. Well, yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to have to watch Agents of Shield to understand why the Avengers yeah. are in this cold winter exactly. place. Exactly. I don't that's know. Why that's I, what I'm saying. You know what I love? And I YouTube guess it didn't cuts. really. It didn't affect the movie at all. It just. I. I but I, I really love those to. guys that do YouTube cuts where they're like, because there was helpful. an Agents of Shield season where they were introducing the new Ghost Rider, and yeah. it was a very exciting Ghost Rider. And they did a really good job. But that was the who only was, good who, thing. Who was he writing for? Uh, Eddie. Re- <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh. Go, sorry. sorry. Michael James. made a good one. Skeleton. Mike. Skeleton. Motorcycle. Got it. My bad. Mike, he killed Riders. Go right. killed it, Mike. Sorry. Yeah. But this, so my bad. Michael after, killed it. Though. After Johnny amazing. Blaze's one, they did one where it was, um, I don't. I can't remember the name, but it was a Latino uh, driver, stunt driver, and it's a car. Juan Blaze. And, uh, yeah, Juan Blaze. Um, but anyways, so Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had a season where they did uh, Ghost Rider, and it was amazing, but he wasn't the focus. So a guy went on YouTube and did a supercut where he took all just the scenes of Ghost Rider and made an actual continuous plot line with it, and it's amazing. It's about 
17 minutes long on YouTube and treat it like a ghostwriter short. It's amazing. It's so good. But it's exactly what you said. I was like, I'm not going to watch through a I season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A super fan win. will. Right. But, but I don't want to look at it. I just want to see okay. Ghost Rider. So the flip side of that, that's what the comics are there for, right? Yeah. Like, okay, I don't want to have to go watch She-Hulk, but I know that, say, for example, WandaVision, which was great. Yep. yep. WandaVision fantastic. There was the House of Wanda, right? There was yeah. the whole series yep. that you could get yep. into. Yep. That, that I and maybe was that's what they're trying to, to do. Yeah. Right? So I think... If you know what you know what they should freaking do <laughs> is he couldn't even hold it back. <laughs> you, you need to make companion pieces. What do you so mean? If, so what I mean is, okay, for example, if you don't want to watch She-Hulk, but they own the rights to the Marvel comics, then make a comic series about She-Hulk. About the well, show. I mean, and they, about the show. And they, uh, maybe you, make it come out after. So okay, I don't want to have to go right. Yeah. And I don't like it because it's too much. But I still want to know. All right, make a seven-episode comic series, follow each episode with the script, and then release that comic book series onto the masses. Okay, I didn't go to now it. Now you've but released a collectible with the show. Now yeah. you've released a collectible with the show. You're doubling up your profits because it's all about getting the toys. No, that's right? interesting. So and You know what's funny? Video games actually do a really fun job of that, like the Spider-Man games that uh, Insomniac's been doing. Instead of having a DLC or like a long cinematic to be like, what happened between these two games? They do comics. Yeah. Right. So it's like a 10 comic issue and it fills in the gap between the games. That's beautiful. And then if there's. Oh, look, a the Power Rangers are here. Hey. 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 And then if there's a side storyline in the game that, like, oh, this didn't get fully concluded, instead of them worrying about jamming it into another game, they'll conclude it in a comic. Well, so, okay. And it's, so, and it's cool. And it's. And it, it's Increasing comic book sales, it's increasing video game sales. I don't know right? if I have an exact example, but it's like the Warriors movie. <laughs> and have you played the Warriors PS2 game? Yeah. So yeah. the Warriors PS2 game it's a, leads up to the movie. Yes, it's it a prequel. Gives you, yeah, it's a prequel yeah. game. And yeah. I think that's it's just Brilliant. more things that you can get as so, a Warriors collector. Believe it or not, funny you say PS2, I think it was PS3. Oh. Uh, they made a Reservoir <laughs> Talking dog. to the mic. Oh, they made a Reservoir Dogs uh, game. And you know what happened in the game? You got to see what went down in the robbery and why didn't you play it? Beautiful. You actually play uh, Michael Madsen's can you, character. Can you be Mr. Pink? If, you, can you not be Mr. Pink if you want? You can tip. No. So they keep. <laughs> can, you, can you tip? They don't let you change anything from the movie. Can you be Madonna? But the whole, <laughs> the whole game is the robbery. Can you yeah. be Madonna? And you get to play the part of what went wrong. Can you come in as Madonna then, and then be like, <laughs> "This is not what the song's about." <laughs> See, that's what I'm... Like, yeah. that's just And then so the game ends and you just throw in the movie and it's like, oh, here we go. Because you can yeah. always do a video game tie-in for a movie, Anything. but what's the point, Anything. really, yeah. right? Yeah. Unless you're going to include extra content or yeah. create it a prequel or make it the story that you didn't see. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's cheaper than making a, a graphic novel with, a, with, with an episode, right? Like... You've you, already got all your source material. You just need to write it out. You need to draw it. And not only that, like, it's the that, same way a movie would. You're employing other, like, multiple people. Boom. There's a colorist. There's a... a and like, and right? comic book creators get the biggest D in the A out of everybody in this game. They get double D because these are properties that they already got paid for Okay, that now have gone on to be in, in, in infamous. Yep. Yeah. They'll be yep. forever. They'll be, they'll be sold over again, over and over and over again. That's yep. it. So to watch our neighbor... I think if you're, I think thing, like, something. Like it, it really, sh if you want to really appreciate the comic book maker, the comic book writer, the comic book artist, make these new things in the comic books and then tie them into it. Be like, you know what? Help them write the scripts. Like there's Well and, there's, and yeah, I agree I fully agree with you. And like I think you've got these people who are still alive and still around who can still offer who and you're can like, really here's write dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. here's four hundred dollars for Civil War. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And it's like really? You're not okay, fine. You don't want to pay me a lot of money for what I've made. How about you bring me in to help me make the news? That's stuff? why exactly. it blows my mind. Why wouldn't you? Is there like you need a writer to write screen? You can, You've got you can, it right or why, not the guy who wrote the book. <laughs> or why wouldn't you go to the illustrator? Why do you think it's so successful? Why wouldn't you go to the illustrator of the comic and get them to make your storyboards for your movie? Right. See what I mean? That's, like, exactly. why are you, That's my point. Right. Because you know what they're doing? What a beautiful idea. They're hiring idea. a storyboarder. He's looking at, at the comic. Right, and then he's just like, okay. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, so why not get, like... That's just hiring an extra because they don't want to pay them. Alex Ross, exactly. That's and then what, look it what happens when you storyboard and, it, you make a comic in the process. And look at what Alex Ross does. Alex Ross literally draws them real. Like, he drew, he drew Batman for years as Adam West. He drew, like, he has a series where it's Christopher Reeve Superman 
Adam West Batman and Linda Carter Wonder Woman, and that was the first Justice that's League. That's sweet. And he draws it as them. Like, it looks like... Now that's so, a right, So you can even have someone doing storyboards where it's like, do you want to have Robert Downey Jr. Well, Man? I can draw that. I like, can do that. Well, let me tell you, I instead of The Last Ronin, I almost got you the Batman 89 continuation comic. Oh, that's a great one. So it continues that's after a, the yeah. movie ends. Oh. It's really good. It's really okay. good. Okay, the way his eyes lit up, I think that's going to be his It's really good. Oh, <laughs> and it gaps, it gaps to returns, and it's really, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. But that's the kind of content so by the I'm way, looking for. The and like even the Smallville comic. Sorry, but even the no, Smallville yeah. comic. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It continues no, after right. the show, and yeah. that's what I've always And wanted. that was the Smallville we wanted. I really wanted to see yeah. him as Superman. I didn't really care about Farm Boy after then he fucking finally, nine years. Then he finally flies years one time. Nine years of a tractor? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm sorry. No S on that's why Speed? That's why that's why even in the movies, it's a 10-minute montage at most. They're not yeah. going to make a whole movie of them finding out how to be Superman. Yeah, no. no. You, can, you can bring they could. every one of them into the fold. They could have a video game. I'd play the video game of the that. The Smallville game? That'd be really <laughs> sweet. It's like Bully, that. but you're Superman. <laughs> you know what it is? is it the, I don't want to do chores today, Dad. Just, like, knocks over the bar. <laughs> puts them through the wall. <laughs> it's the studio executives who are like, I want credit. Yeah. So they're like, we should do this. Yeah. And then when they go to pr- pitch their boss, yeah. they go... Yeah, this is what we should do. I think this would be a great idea. And they just want to be light because they have a boss, and that boss has a boss, and that boss. Don't we all? Right. (laughs) Yeah. Unfortunately, we all work for the man. So (laughs) it's not about like, hey, I made this. Yeah. And I want to. It's like I found the guy who made this. We should make this. Yeah. And then screw him out of it as much as possible. Yeah. Right. Like it's just. Well, and the funny thing is, is I mean, (laughs) you're adapting somebody else's work. How's your poop? You can you have them right there. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like Thanks you're, for asking. you're doing, <laughs> you're adapting somebody else's work. Take on the responsibility of what it is to be an adapter and consult them. Really yeah. care about the source. Why are you and adapting in the first place? And pay them. And pay them. They're right there. They, they deserve like, the money. It's just so fascinating. The same right, way they're like, like don't we're, stream. We're, talk, we're talking about how to incorporate the comic book. The same way they're like, the movie don't process. stream movies. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it doesn't. It would go a really long way for the enjoyment of my fault comic book collectors and people who are really true to the comics as well like i think that there's a lot it goes in the other direction too with like books and movies right Mm -hmm. like you you want to make sure that you're uh really representing the theme and the intention because there's a lot of things that are a little bit more subtle in the writing that maybe you don't necessarily it's the subtext that you won't make yeah, for a great movie and that won't make yeah. for a great movie or so you got to pr- make sure if you're leaving something out that it's okay and that if you're trying to incorporate something that you're portraying it correctly it's yep. it's really yeah that's it and i mean that's I, it i can't believe i'm saying this cuz it's one of the few times hold on hold Zach on we'll Snyder. get you can- we'll get you canceled from this community. no 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 <laughs> i'm saying Zack Snyder actually did a really good job with watchmen in that regards in my opinion i agree he well kept even the Alan Moore things. said there's just no there's no good way to uh, make yes. Watchmen into a movie, but yeah. that's about as close but as I, you're going to get. I think he got because he kept, even the TV show was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and again, I think it's the TV because show filled the gaps where the movie yeah couldn't. And Absolutely. it's because they captivated. It's one of the things I like about TV shows. What's the story <laughs> really about? What's the story really? And that's what they captivated on. So the things they left out as a comic book reader, you were like, no, it <laughs> made sense. Like they still yeah. kept the essence of. Well, the man, story. it's it's a thick book. So I think it's we good. all I think we all agree that the process of involving the comic book writer into the movie making process yes. is, is definitely something that Can you everybody please put the lid on your water it's giving me anxiety <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely we're moving you know away from the corner <laughs> for the, yeah. or no, just it's, away it's from like your laptop a it's, massive this is like this all is of like this. an extreme water bottle over here just all like of this sitting bothers me a <laughs> massive reason yeah. the godfather was so amazing is they let Mario Puzo help write the yeah. script yeah. and he wrote the book I guarantee you if they did that more often, these adaptations would be way more successful. So Way Emily, more successful. Emily's, uh, Emily's got to take off. So, Emily, thank you for spending the afternoon with us as always. I don't know why you love doing this. Shut I do. We I love do you, love Emily. doing this. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. Have uh, a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, for any of my F1 fans out there, we've got the Australian GP coming up this evening. And I know this will be later. That's your that, plans. But, but I've got, well, I, I have to also go see Dan, <sighs> my lovely husband. <laughs> Oh, Your Englishman. So my Englishman yeah. <laughs> smells like Say fish and chips. The <laughs> <North Shit. minutes. laughs> he smells like Peaky Blinders. I feel like. Oh smell. yeah, that probably is actually accurate. He's got a mustache now. He shaved his beard. Well, that's it great. Looks real good. He smells that's like great. Tom Hardy and Mercedes Benz. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that means. Put that in a bottle and sell it to Emily. Yeah. She's ready. There you go. Yeah, it All smells right. like gray cologne. hair and a British accent. I'm in. Well, it's a cologne we, that smells like the beach. <laughs> we've been we we've been asked to uh, be a part of an event here listeners so we're going to bring on one more of uh, the ve- one of the vendors in the area who's been putting up with us uh, occupying his space today uh, Greg you want to come on over? Sure. You 
Thanks again, have, Emily. Have, we love up. you. Oh, okay, Emily's gone. Good love night. you so much. Bye, Emily. Bye. 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 Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have to be careful. Yeah. Talking to the side of it. So uh, uh, yeah. just getting over a cold oh, like this. Like yeah, that, just like yeah. that. Like cradling a lover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, a little bit. I get <laughs> Very tiny-headed lover. <laughs> so, uh, listener, this is Greg from GMB Chamachuk. Uh, right. Explain to listener what that is, Greg. Uh, well, I am... Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm fighting the instinct to introduce myself like I do on our own <laughs> podcast, Super Pulp Science. Instead, what I will say is GMB Kamichuk is how I go professionally. Don't let all those fancy initials fool you. My first name is Gregory. I write, <laughs> illustrate uh, books, comics, graphic novels, films, theater, television. Love it. And um, basically, my work is a Venn diagram where 30s pulps, 40s propaganda, and 60s style guides overlap. It's awesome. Dude, it's you have a great. Like, yeah, I we're just, right across from it now. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. my wife would come here and buy like 20 of these and just decorate an entire wall with them. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they are for sale. Are they Valentine's for sale? Day is eventually <laughs> going to come around again. Arbor Day. <laughs> really, yeah. any holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it, it is right around the corner, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. Yeah, no, I... I, I, I Time is a construct. We cut the show at three so that we could go shopping after. That's right. right? That's right. So, yeah, we planned that out. But you are... I don't know how much you can talk about this, but you're doing a thing. Our friend Doug Darling, who owns Tripwire yeah, Media. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. We know Doug. Friend of the really show. Well, friend of the show. <laughs> friend um, of the pod. You've got a movie coming out with him. He was telling us. Yeah. Well, so the good thing about uh, independent filmmaking is yeah. no one has signed an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get so it done. That's how you do whatever you want. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you can ask us. You can ask me a direct question, and I can either give you a direct answer, Dish. or I can. Uh, Isn't that great? Or he's I can the control. Avoid I love it. it. Yeah, we have <laughs> control. I'm a. Uh, <laughs> I'm a writer on the film. Yeah. Um, my co-writer Jonathan Ball and I did a script called The Princess and the Dragon, which we uh, sold to Miles Crossman's production company, and then we came on as producers as well. So um, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really great. An independent horror feature. It's great. Shot produced um, here in Manitoba. Right. We spent eight days shooting out uh, in an abandoned sanatorium overlooking a lake. It was pretty Amazing. awesome. Amazing. <laughs> so I like to spend Sounds my terrifying. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. So, like, how is like, being someone who has been obviously writing for so long, like, how's the process been for you? Is it something that you kind of had an idea about, or is everything coming out of left field? Like, what was, what was the overarching? Well, it. Um, how long do I have to tell this story? Oh, please. You're our last <laughs> one. So You're our last one. Yeah. Yeah. Dive in. So the, the short-ish version of the story is that before any of that was happening, a number of years, uh, maybe it was the year before the pandemic, uh, we had access to the old RCMP forensics lab, which Sweet. is Whoa. a hidden building here on Corden Avenue. It's not, it th isn't that anymore. So I guess yeah. I, it's fine to tell you that that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. It masquerades as like a beautiful, well-appointed little shop on top, but it actually is three sub levels that go underground where a body, Shut up. Yeah, that's where so a body cool. can be taken on a rail through this forensic system. Through They've the got, I think they have that in, they have that in Riley Gray, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Riley Craig. They do the that's same thing. So <laughs> that's wild. So we had access to this building. Um, Shout out Riley Gray. Uh, and so part of the thing, independent filmmaking in general, it's uh, there are a million things that can go wrong making any movie. But in independent films, rather than go from your script to the screen, it's much easier to go from available locations right. yeah. to the writers <laughs> yeah. and yeah. say, given that these are the three places we could shoot, what's the story that could fit those places? Yeah, for right. sure, right. And so it was a scenario like that where I was asked to come and pitch ideas within this setting. And so the production company at that time, they never did finish the film. And one of the agreements I had is that any of those ideas we came up with that were unproduced would remain mine. Come back to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, one of those ideas I had, and so when I met with Miles about a different project, um, he was losing this location and just happened to say non sequitur, unless you got a, you know, single location, low budget, horror movie script for one or two principal actors lying around, you really can't help me right well, now. I was like, well, <laughs> well uh, let me tell you. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we do. Now, um, a film is not... You know, one way to think about it is the literary document that is the film, Right. if you're going to study it, doesn't come from the script. It comes from the efforts of everyone involved all the way along. Principal photography is one-tenth of movie making. 
and then you have editing and sound design and all the other pieces that go into making it. Yeah, what it is. <laughs> so um, all this to say, our idea from that thing is not the same idea because once we went to this new location, oh, this we have to rewrite, this we have to change, yeah. and then it goes into the director's hands and he says, well, I like this. I like this. I don't yeah. like this. Right. What I want this film to be about to me is different than what you wanted it to be about when you wrote it. So then he does some rewrites. and then. But we've been around the independent scene enough to know, rather than be like, you can't change my thing. How, <laughs> How dare, dare you? you? Right. That yeah. if somebody is going to be willing to risk that much money, time, yeah. people, to make this independent. effort, yeah. then you should probably capitulate a little in those changes now totally. we're in a different position because we are producers so we yeah. we know that if he's going to change some things if there was something that we absolutely positively had to fight for we're in a position where we have right. the ability to but totally so awesome. far he's made a lot of changes that are awesome so <laughs> that's, great. that's great are you yeah, guys going to shop it at festivals and stuff like that when you're done so the that's an ongoing ongoing yeah. discussion um, as whether or not to Kevin Smith it Gotcha. Right? And just take it on the we road for a while Kevin ourselves. That's yeah. a, that's, right? That just take it on. I and like not that. To, and not to pretend that we're the end all be all greatest independent filmmakers, but instead take the film we were able to make yeah. to festivals and have that conversation about, you know, it cost this much money, totally. it took this many people, and this is what you can do, and this is the off the shelf technology. And this is, we uh, were very fortunate in that uh, uh, Unit 204. Uh, came in and helped yeah, us there. Yeah, great. So they had a lot of uh, a lot of sort of big movie experience that they brought, and then mm -hmm. we also had some very green raw crew, and so the mixture of those things, I think, Getting is a worthwhile conversation. Yeah. And so yes. yeah. one yeah. of the things we're talking about is, you know, we make the movie, we make the best movie we can make, but once we've done that, why don't again because we may not be big, but we're small, as Stuart McLean would say, uh, <laughs> let's take great that story small thing, about yeah, okay. and tell all the stories about how it got done because i mean that is just if not more exciting than even talking like, to the mic so, oh sorry like even that is like it's just as exciting as watching the movie because i think like and maybe it's just because we're movie people but or maybe because we're I mean, not that good at making movies it <laughs> yeah. seems that yeah. exciting yeah. Well, chicken or the egg i'm yeah. always <laughs> curious too like when it's done you you there's a bit of you especially when it's something you really enjoy and you're like how did they do it like how do you and it's i'm always fascinated with day one to final day you know oh. what i mean like because you, like you i said, was fascinated too yeah it changes so an, much and on an independent film too you are um uh you know what i said when i got there is i didn't know the job i was going to have by the time we were done those eight days so and an independent film the way you think of it is whatever you pick up you have to carry now to the end mm -hmm. right so i accidentally became clipboard guy on set <laughs> oh, and then man. i had to carry that clipboard <laughs> there's worse the, nicknames <laughs> the, yeah well you know it, first ad is too lofty mm -hmm. and uh you know executive producer was too lofty and sometimes you had to take the garbage out too so like those things are all yeah you know, there, there's some things that you to have to kind of be like i'm not above this because that's it's right. independent right, right. Yeah. that's right and yeah. then you it, it humbles you in a, in a sense where you're like, okay, if, if, if we ever do get to a point where, like, we can do this big, well, you remember pulling garbage just as much as you yeah, remember I, not, like, putting that clipboard down. I've been around uh, <laughs> other sets, and I would say this. Um, money does not change people. Mm -hmm. It reveals them. Yeah. Good That's words. a beautiful way to put it, yeah, actually. No, it's it really, yeah. yeah. And so the people who are, you know, good people... They stay well, that way. They stay that way. <laughs> yeah. And they'll help carry the heavy couch. Totally. Even if they've been hired as the <laughs> They've got a staff, truck. You, know, you like can call them. Yeah. 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 No, that's that's really interesting. John Candy was famous for that, apparently. Yes. You know, he's a... Yeah, uh, there's the story he, of he where a, somebody thought he was... Like, they were just like, hey, They thought he was a set builder or yeah. something. Yeah, they did, like, yeah. Help so us the, take this lumber in. What yeah. are you doing? He's like, all right. Okay. <laughs> Put his smoke out, and he yeah. helped him carry it all in. And then it wasn't until what? It was like the casting or somebody was like, no. what? It wasn't What's until they went to roll. And yeah. they were like, like, oh, I so, just asked the principal. Yeah, and they're like, what? Yeah. Oh. Why aren't you helping yeah. us, man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John, so. you said you'd help. Why yeah. are you acting? Get over it, right? But, you know, every day on a set like that is a privilege. Of course. Period. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's everyone's learning. diffusing the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Together. Totally. You know, totally. many plates. You're learning as you're going. Like, there's, there's, 
I mean, we, we talk to a lot of people who are in the technician side, right? Like, we yeah. want to know how the sausage is made. Yeah, so yeah. Sure. I'm curious about effects. I'm curious about costume. I'm curious about writing and editing, right? Yeah, like, me too. It's well, not, so, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's 30 seconds on screen that really counts in the moment, but then Orson Welles says you make a movie in the editing room, Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can take whatever you want, but you really make it when you start chopping it up. Yeah. So you get a lot of experience just standing there being like, this machine is moving at such a speed and all yeah. these people. And yeah. I well, and I saw that too, even in a little show, a sh- little show like this, uh, Caitlin, our uh, makeup and effects person, we had this little gag where there's a, there's a wound and there's an object inside the wound that they find out they have to pull the stitching. Then they have to pull Lovely. the object. Whoa. And, it's, and it's a clue. It's a part of the clue path of the, of the story. Cool. And uh, so we're prepping for that. And Caitlin, sort of unveils all these different wounds <laughs> she's done Here's like what we can 15 do. Yeah. of the same My like panel a, of which, wounds. which of these you know i was yeah. you know i was doing production design essentially at that point and so it's like which of these best fits the kind of wound that we're trying to achieve <laughs> let me make it it's nice to me, have variety let me add some blood and some yeah. thread to it first right. so you yeah. can take a good look right. you know like that kind of thing the and, zhuzh. and the it's zhuzh. It's gross, but it's also there's a certain poetry in yeah. that. Absolutely. It, yeah. You know, there's a beauty to like, like there's an art process yeah. to it, right? Absolutely. And yeah. Now I yeah. lay the silicone. Now yeah. I pull the mold. <laughs> exactly. Now I now I now it's I like, place yeah. the double on, yeah. and then I. I it's like the famous, it, uh, right? like, like the alien, the famous, right? Like it's a head on the table, which yeah. when you see in the movie, it's gross. But the way they're bringing it to life, yeah. it's fascinating. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful Lighting, how they do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sound. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera angles. It's Yeah. And then a yeah. fun behind the scenes piece there is the, obviously the principal actor, our actress, Nadine, she's trying to bring the scene to life. But our makeup effects person is so concerned with the performance of the prop at the same time. <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah, it right. doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the prop. If the scene is well acted. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. the prop open properly? Right. And did the blood come out? It's, right. It's so weird because everybody. That's the take yeah. you need to use. <laughs> right. And then in the, in the edit, of course, the most emotive piece is the one they're going to yeah. use. Because right. to them, that's yeah. the actor. That's right. That's their focal point is that <laughs> yeah. wound, right? Well, like, that's their next job. Yes. If that yeah. prop works, that's right? right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. You're only as good in that business as your last success. For yeah, sure. totally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Unfortunately, the armor on rust is <laughs> yeah. that right yeah. Yes. Big so time, big so normally I'm writing and illustrating books, comics. That's my sort of day to day gig. But every now and then I get to, uh, you know, slide into weird independent filmmaking. Yeah. That's the best of both worlds. It really yeah, like is. You stretch your creative process. And, and I love your appreciation for like the old school horror and like yeah. horror classics. Like The Invisible Man is just a classic. Well, this goes back, I'd say, to um, shout out to my uh, cousins, uh, JP and Michael. Um, I was a big comics mark. We would go to garage sales. My dad would, you know, give me $2 back in the day. Yeah, right. right. That was a lot. You can get yeah, a lot of that. You can get a lot. Yeah, you Coverless can. comics, right? But yeah, they yeah, were yeah. of a certain, they were all 80s, 70s, 80s comics you'd find at that time. Yeah. And uh, my cousins came over one day with a box, and they said, don't show this to your mother. This is the good stuff. (laughs) And it was all Conan pulps and, you know, EC Comics and, like, a whole bunch of that stuff. And so that got right into my 10-year-old DNA. And so here it is. Here you you are. 30 years later. (laughs) It's great. It's great. No, yeah. I think it's I it's, think it's fantastic. You and need I've, an uh, older cousin to show you that stuff. That's, that's right. how yeah. you get yeah. into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always an porn, older cousin yeah. and older brother. It's yeah, be better somebody. than a porn collection. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, look that's where right. you could have been. Yeah. Right, but you <laughs> those know, are worth course, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Different. Of course, road. they didn't know my mother. She was like, "What these?" And so she read them all too. Right. Oh, that's great. Cut from good cloths, sir. That's awesome. Well, Greg, thank you so much for yeah. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you. This was awesome. Yeah, we're gonna. We're going to give us your socials. We'll come over and trade everything after so we can put you in the show notes. Sounds good. Yeah. So um, my name is to hard to pronounce and hard to spell. GMB Kamichuk, C-H-O-M-I-C-H-U-K. But it's the only one like it. So exactly. <laughs> if you <laughs> search <laughs> it, you'll find me. Put those that's letters right. in the search tab. Yeah, and that's right. Come up. Yeah, it comes up. Cool, dude. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks Thank for joining you us. Have a good rest of your show. Thanks. And good luck with everything as well, like with the movie and everything. That's Maybe awesome. yeah. we'll come back on and tell you how yes. it is. I would love to. Honestly, I'd love to have you on. We'd love to. Anybody who makes weird cool fun stuff in winnipeg that's what we talked to yeah totally that's our jam sweet thanks guys thanks again cheers take care show (laughs) 
What a treat. What a Maybe treat. Maybe we can do a screening of the film when it's done. <laughs> cool, hey? Why not? That'd be cool. It's an independent filmmaker, so we can do whatever we'll we want. We'll host uh, yeah. park, uh, Movies in the Park, and then we'll just put it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll you guys are here for this, but really. <laughs> you showed up for Who's Trolls ready for too. Moana? <laughs> and you, you got an R-rated uh, independent horror movie. It's the live action one. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, these people look like trolls. Don't Today worry, we're showing end. Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> everybody gets a Black Adam Funko Pop because none of them sold. <laughs> <laughs> and a popcorn bucket that, yes, you can. And fuck. <laughs> well, you can fuck. listener, uh, it's been two hours. Wow. <laughs> flew by. Flew by. And we have to be Zordon, so. We do have to be Zordon. We've been, we've been invited to partake in a Power Rangers uh, adjacent uh, Demo- activity. Demonstration? I demonstration? Someone's going to die. Yeah. Someone, someone needs our, our. They're going to show us how they morph. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna always red, wanted to see that. I've <laughs> always wanted to read Dragon Thunder Zord publicly. Yeah, so, Rangers, Rangers. Right? This is this uh, is yeah, 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 Zord on. So thank you for listening to us go live and do one of these for the first time. This was this is fun. Where were we broadcasted to the environment instead Terrifying. of just yeah. our own heads. It was yeah. a little We were scared at first. We were scared. We were if like, you bet uh, the over on swears you went uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, won. you won. I think the, the, the actual the physical counts their team, but I'm pretty sure it's bigger than that. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? That's our goal. Next year we gotta go even bigger. So yeah. but you, did you notice not a single child came over and cried. So <laughs> no just, just the robbed, first two. but we know yeah. them. <laughs> just the first yeah. <laughs> if you don't count those first two <laughs> that's because of the way I look, not the way I sound. There's a big, there's a big difference guys. Anyway, he's a uh, Sith Lord. Listener, uh, <laughs> this is this has been a fun little bonus episode from your favorite local cinephiles here. If this is your first time listening to us, we implore you to go check out other stuff. This is this is our live event stuff. But there are no other podcasts in the city. It's just us. Just us. There's <laughs> just, yeah, they all stopped actually. Yeah, um, everybody else quit. Yeah, no, that's not true. There are very good. Well, how come plenty. no one else is here, Mike? Well, yeah, where are they? <laughs> I don't. I think we're the only one who does this. That's right. I think that's that's right. Yeah. We are. And yeah. hey, we're gonna have a bigger presence every year. This thing's gonna get bigger yeah, apparently we're yep. on the council of 12 now we are on the council of 12 <laughs> that's right we're involved in this that's and, right and uh ever so since we bought that gun yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you know that ending a deer or deer hunter that's where we're doing right yeah. now with the planning of uh just spinning that it's how we get involved it's how we get opportunities you that's know you right. got to create your own we just hang around <laughs> until they're like it's easier to give these okay kids so really we get the impression your parents aren't coming to pick you up do you guys just want to be a part of it and we're yeah. like yes please yes. yeah <laughs> can i come home with you <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't want to know my mommy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we implore you to go backwards, check out some of the debates, check out some of the interviews. We've interviewed a ton of people on the show. I think we're over like 50 interviews now. You're going to want to start at my episodes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just put Jimmy's name in the search box for wherever you're listening. <laughs> start there. That's what there was show. a world pre Jimmy. There was. <laughs> there Whoa. wasn't. Oh, yeah. Michael has deleted all if of them. <laughs> Well, he made them harder to find, <laughs> is what he did. I've, yeah, they exist. They're all on SoundCloud. <laughs> they exist. Send us, a, send us an email, and maybe I'll send you some of those. I, I, they, they don't not exist. Okay. They yep. just uh, don't show up. Right. So They're only on Vimo yeah. under uh, listener, Battlestar here, Galactica. Listener, I'll set you up. Here's the first episode. They're only clips on TikTok. <laughs> here's, here's you can watch 10 seconds of it at a time. You don't need to listen to this stuff, but if you want, here's how the first episode ever started. Okay, we're at 243 with this one. First episode started with, I think we're recording. And I think it's working. <laughs> that's how they all start. That's, how, that's I think that should be how. That's great. Like that's that's the <laughs> that's first funny. word spoken on the show. And was it I just think. was it just you and Martin, or was it just you? It was me, Martin, Aaron, and Steve. Wow, yeah. wow! Because it was it was the three guys who went to Wings all the time. And that's, did right. that's right. That's right. That's right. You guys just love Paul McCartney, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> no, Bette Midler, because you're the wind beneath mine. <laughs> Uh, I uh, thank you for listening, listener. We're gonna we're gonna stop talking now. I'm yeah, we, Power Rangers are gonna piss. We gotta buy some shit. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> buy some shit. Who you been? Jimmy and I'm Charles. Emily's gone. Emily's <laughs> gone. She's She's Take Collect dump. everything you can. Support. Gotta like catch them all. Listener. Come out next year. You'll have a good time. Uh, watch all the movies. Love, Love you. Bye. Spanish ladies.